What's up? What's up, ven adventurers? <laughs> Is that nerd? Hey, nerd. Hey, nerd. <laughs> I was just trying anything out. <laughs> What's up? Hell, 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 hello. Uh, yonder path uh, appears fortuitous, <laughs> fellow friends. <laughs> we have fun. Yeah, Rebecca's back. Hi, River. Russell went and got a job. <laughs> <laughs> like a, some kind of non-degenerate <laughs> so he's left me to my own devices uh, which means I'm bringing her back <laughs> and our cat because she can't be left out if we're all streaming together that's a fact that's a fact bringing the music back in a, a little bit it's really hard to like judge I hope you're having a good Monday River and that you had a great birthday how are your PSATs PSAT and, how did that go and all of the above hey Faye how you doing Hi, Faye. I feel like this music can like pop off a little bit so I gotta like I gotta tame it I need a I need a user compressor went good did you get your scores back on it? I remember the PSAT uh, just being like percentile based and it didn't give me like much information beyond it is that. Percent, I think it's percentile. Nice. Munch is also here. That's where my, I'm pe I'm petting her. That's where my okay, disembodied yeah, hand my, is. Yeah, yeah. She's sitting on the desk. Yeah. Can I get her in the shot? Well, I really need to invest in a Munch cam because this is like not sustainable. Munch cam. I didn't really look at them. That was how I was about my PSATs, for sure. Yeah, there's no hope here. Maybe I can turn no, the monitor. There she, there she is. is. There she is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun. Oh, really? Who is that? Can you check for me? That is, yeah. It's not calling immediately. Oh, good. This is probably a misdial. Hanging in there, making tea, and then working on more armor. Nice. Uh, my cat is trying to get in the dishwasher right now. <laughs> Munch will do that. She'll try to get into the Munch will, um, refrigerator. Every time we open the fridge, Munch like kind of like indicates she wants to go in, and I try to like offer her. I try like go like go ahead, and then she like gets spooked and, and runs away, which is sensible because it, it's not good to be in the fridge. No, but also <laughs> not equally good not good to be in the dishwasher. This is true. They love to be where they can't be. I wonder if there's some way I can make this less Faye, we're doing huge well. in my... We're, we're having a good Monday. We both had to wake up very early this morning and and traverse the real world. So it was a very early morning in our household. Yeah, we had a big, we had a big day, man. Big, big day. Oh, are we still coming through? That's crazy. I had the mic, <laughs> I had the mic volume all the way down, but everybody was hearing us, right? <laughs> Hi, hi, Amy. Hey, Amy, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Let me just see, because I want to have this. I want to have my source maxed out. Yeah, early mornings are terrible. Yeah, I'm not into it. We don't really do early mornings anymore. We don't have to, and we never will. <laughs> There are no babies in this household, so we don't do early mornings. Yeah, well, except for me and the munch. You're a baby. I'm a baby, and munch, and munch is, is a baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> but munch also doesn't do early mornings. Yep, Amy. Okay, River's got a question. Lay it on us, River. What's the question? Yeah. Unless it's a spoiler, in which case we will say nothing, right? Rebecca. Right. Right. Munch, you can't say anything. Nothing. <laughs> Munch, you don't say. <laughs> Munch. 
Don't use bad words. Oh no, we'll get demonetized on this thing that we don't monetize. <laughs> 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 I figured it was a river, no worries. Ask away. Yeah. Mm. Your cat just jumped on you. Is that your question? <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't seem like there's a right answer to that one. <laughs> you have been chosen. Were you trying to load? In my mind, you're trying to load the dishwasher, and she jumped on your back as you were loading the dishwasher. Um, that is the choice I've made in my head. It's what is happening in your world, and I've decided it. <laughs> we just wait. We just, for the we question. just, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> waiting with with We're peaked anxiety. Soon. Yeah, I'm gonna make dinner soon. Rebecca's gonna make dinner. And I'm gonna we'll, play video and games. We'll eat. We'll eat with y'all. We'll have dinner with everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some oh, ravioli. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vegan rav. That vegan rav. <laughs> yeah, um, Faye, you said you're dairy-free. We are dairy-free in this household, too. Oh, really? So that recipe you had, I'm curious what it was, because... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> if you were to cast Fireball, whilst having the hand you are casting it on firmly on your target, what the heck will happen? Oh, um... You will still be affected by the fireball. Does... Fireball is AOE. Right. Well, here's so... my question. Fireball, it has somatic components, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can't. You have to move your hands around. So you couldn't keep it on the but person. But you could keep one on and then move the other arm. Well, I, I think you need both arms for a somatic casting. Ethan, Ethan may give you that, but I wouldn't. <laughs> that would be my... That would be my argument for for a fireball. That's a that's a higher higher level Ethan, spell. I think I think you would still be affected even if you could, even if you were allowed to do that. Do that. It would be it would just blow up. It right would in front blow of you. you up too because it's yeah. an AOE. It's an area of effect spell that's like thirty feet or something. 30, 30 feet thirty foot radius. Um, we're fully vegan, but if you put an egg recipe in, I'm happy to adjust it without egg. Rebecca's okay? very good at adjusting. I can just yeah. either use an egg replacer or, um, depending on what the recipe is, pick a good replacement that will work. But um, yeah, we're fully vegan. Um, oh, yes. yeah. Um, back to Fireball. Uh, <laughs> but you you would be wrapped up in that same area. It would, yeah, so it, would just, would, it would just start the center. So unless it. you were like, I'm going to know it happened, so maybe I get... Like, if I knew I was casting it on myself, you maybe, advantage on I, the maybe I get save. advantage on my deck save. You're the most... <laughs> If you guys listen to the podcast, just 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 take a drink of whatever totally your like seltzer you water is or, or whatever. Whatever whatever thing you're drinking at the time. Big boom. Just take a sip every time Rebecca tries to argue for some kind of mechanical oh, advantage. I'm sorry. Russell does it too. It's not just me. But, but you are more wily than Russell, I feel. <laughs> Russell just straight up asks. Russell's just like, advantage. can I have advantage? And I'm like, what if I and usually Ethan will be like Fine. I just don't even want to work. Yeah, it's like spoiler. I don't want to argue with you. No spoiler. <laughs> Oma doesn't have fireball anyway, so I um, can never cast it unless I give like a, unless I'm given something to cast. We can't it. test the theory. I can't test the theory because unless like I wild magic myself into a fireball because Oma doesn't take any anything with a material component. Oh, we got we got multiple conversations. Let's sort it out. So we got ooh, what recipe are we talking about? Um, <laughs> what, what recipe are we talking about? Because I didn't it's, see she it. Just said, they just said it. It's a creme, it's a chai creme brulee. Oh, okay. I missed that. Yeah. Nice. It was in the, yeah, it sounded really good. That does sound good. Um, and then River saying your friend is it? I'm guessing this is in the campaign you're running. This is the argument. This is the the, uh, the hypothetical, but not hypothetical. They want an explosion to affect them. That's they a different don't, spell. Oh, they don't the want an river. That's called inflict wounds. That they're trying to the they're fireball. trying to cast inflict wounds basically by casting fireball like this. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work different like spell. that. It, yeah. it can't. It, it's, uh, I, there is no way that they could cast fireball and not be affected by it if it's in the, unless, if in the radius. Unless you rule it that way, and then it, it totally but, works, and you can. take another spell. <laughs> like, fireball is there to be a big AoE boom. Like, like yeah. find the spell that works for you in that or, situation. Or, like, yeah, that's exactly. That's not the spell that... Like, it's not... That's not doing what you want it to. That's what you said. Could, yeah, that's yeah. not doing what you... Like, Like pick your spells that, that do what you want them to do. Don't just pick fireball because it's fireball. Have fun with spells that are not so... 
wi widely known. Like there are so many cool spells out there. And I know Fireball is the big joke of like, ah, uh, you're a sorcerer, you're a wizard. I, 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 know, know, it's a, I know it's a small room, but I cast Fireball, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there are so many other spells you can pick that, that are more specific to what you want to do if that's how your character wants to play. I would also potentially encourage your, uh, your player to think about how challenges uh, actually uh, force creativity. So the fact that they can't cast Fireball like that, now they have to figure out a different way of playing the scenario, mm -hmm. and they'll actually have more fun trying to figure out what that is instead of just having a one-size-fits-all yeah. version of their well, spell. because part of being a sorcerer and being, or being a wizard or having Fireball is that you have to be further away. Like, you only get so many spells that you can pick, and part of it is, like, knowing knowing your um, utility in a combat. Like we actually talk about this on Venture Forth and we talk about it with all the players too. Is like, know what your role is within your party combat or um, party makeup too. Composition. Because, uh, composition, thank you, party comp. Because you don't want to be playing the same style of character in comp as somebody else, even if you have similar vibes, right? Like, like know what works for you. If you're a sorcerer or if you're if you're the person who wants to cast fireball, then you're also going to be the person who needs to be further away from the fight. And if you want to be somebody who's up close, find what works for being up close. I wish you guys could understand that Munch is just like sitting here. <laughs> We're literally, we just have family time at the computer. Like, yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit of a, like a Abrams style. I, I, uh, an evocation wizard could do this. Right, you can yeah. do the you can do the warp, uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you can yeah. you can get it around your targets so that you pick. pick. So like if that's so what you want to do, yeah, like true. find the way to do it. Yeah, exactly. Skull spells, that's right, yeah, yeah. Nice. Chosen creatures automatically succeed on the show. Yeah, yeah. Which I think, personally, kind of lame. <laughs> I want to hurt my party, potentially. <laughs> I, I like the risk factor. But that, but that's been put in there for a reason, so that you can still have fun casting your big AoE spells. Mm -hmm. And you can specialize in that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. True. I still think it's fun to take big AOE spells and then just tell people to death. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you relish you don't you don't actually relish No, I, I yeah. almost never risk my no, own no, I don't yeah. think I've ever but that doesn't mean it won't happen. Mm, mm. And with wild magic, anything could happen at any time. <laughs> yep. Yep, sure could. <laughs> That's a good question, though, River. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for asking. It's a fun topic of conversation. Sure. I love talking about spells and, and choices and and D and D like uh, stuff like that. Comp and also fireball is overrated. I said it. Ooh. I said it. That is a spicy Mike take. Drop. That is a, a spicy pachetti take. <laughs> There are so many more cool spells. I mean, I guess it's only third level, right? So it's like, it doesn't have to be that cool. Right. Well, but it's it's the, like, first thing you get that's, like, I don't know, it's so iconic. It's also, it's, like, it's just wait. First, it's the first I, thing you can get. I don't have like it a... yet in Boulder's Gate, but it's so fun in Boulder's Gate. Or maybe I just got Burning it. Burning Hands is awesome in Boulder's Gate, though. Yes. And I know it's smaller, mm -hmm. and, but it does almost just as much damage. I guess not just as much, but... We have a wild magic sorcerer in our party and as a bad guy, so wild magic left and right. <laughs> wild magic bouncing back and forth. That was fun. I miss oh, the old yeah. stuff of lightning bolts bouncing off of walls, fireball filling in tight spaces and spreading out, but I don't miss the math of finding out where it goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like you can um uh you can do a lot of stuff. It, that's that's where you homebrew it, right? You just go like yeah. it bounces, cause I said so. Because well, in this situation, or, it's or fun. Or you take spells that do bounce. There are still spells that bounce if you roll right. So no, I but have a that's spell. different than lightning bolt, though. Because lightning bolt is like per yeah. risk reward. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. You, sh you can hit tons of people with yeah, it, yeah, yeah. but it's gonna bounce and like hit your party. So it's all about like sure, sure, sure. sure. Yeah. The choice. There's a choice. There's a yeah evaluation happening there. Um. And and flame blade is sick. Agreed. It's, um, it's so funny. I also like blight. You take blight. Blight is 
my my favorite it's spell. It's never worked. It, but it has worked. What has are you talking worked? about? Yeah. Okay, well, we, yeah. Won't, we won't spoil. Yeah. It's notoriously it's, been bad. Though. No, it hasn't. Are you talking about Bane? Oh, I am talking about Bane. You yeah. are, yeah. No, Blight is hella good. Blight's a big... Wow. Blight's like a, 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 the Grave Cleric's... Um, that's like, it's always prepared and it does a lot of damage. So I, I, it's whenever I don't know what to do, I'm like, okay, Blight. Because <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm going to Blight him. All right, we, we just had a chill one, so I'm going to shuffle forward. Here we go. Here's a spooky one. At least it'll be spook. So our last our last stream of this game got not not copyright struck, but we just got like a notification saying like, hey, this music copyrighted. So we're going to we're going to do venture forth music and see how it goes. I literally just put this playlist together with zero crossfades or anything. So we're just going to we're just going to deal with it. <laughs> Your favorite spell you've used so far is shatter. Nice. Against a hag. I like hags. <laughs> did you call mine spoopy? I don't think I did. Or did I say spoopy? Spooky? Spoopy. Well, yeah, you might have said spoopy. I say spoopy you all the time. It means spooky, but it is spoopy. We, guys, we have I like nieces. To, I we like to nieces. destroy language whenever possible. I really do. We have nieces and every langu and language is no longer real anymore. <laughs> spoopy? <laughs> I like the exclamation point. <laughs> Oh yeah, Shatter is cool. It's a great spell. I think... I think Sloan has a spell. Who? Sloan. Shatter? Shatter? Yeah. Well, but you can trade out stuff as a wizard, can't you? As long as it's in your spell book, so... I don't know how that works for, for like, the homebrew that they're doing, though. Oh, I don't know. IDK. I don't know, I do not K. You don't. No, I have a lot of spells, though. Don't worry about your eye used. with your dead nails. You got these, like, razor sharp <laughs> nails, and you're, like, scratching the inside of your eye. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Spoopy vibe check. <laughs> you gonna poke my own eye out? You worried? <laughs> Loud noise go boom, no more ear drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That deafness. I like I like the um, mechanic of silence and deafness and yeah. everything. Okay. Rebecca's gonna BRB. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this thing over to this guy. Look at that! Crazy. <laughs> and we are gonna pull up some VF, now some BG load game. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not gonna use the auto save because Faye, I had to go back just to just to put this out there to make get me out of this hellhole, I had to go back <laughs> to an older save and go back to that, um, the mine shaft in order to find that guy and, and wait for him to say it. And then I just recorded that, cut it, exported it. <laughs> it took an insane amount of time. So I think that seems like, this seems like the one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Nice. Okay, yeah, we just we just got rid of uh we just got we were poisoned. I also noticed you can read the chat messages a lot faster than normal. Um I don't know why that would be. <laughs> I don't I have no idea why that is. Um so yeah, so we got we just had we just did a quest line where we were poisoned secretly in our sleep. And, um, okay, we're, we're volumed up here. Um, we were poisoned in our sleep, and, but, but one of the guys who poisoned us was, was, uh, repentant, uh, because he was, um, what's the spell called? Uh, Geish, he had a Geish spell on him, so he was actually not, he actually didn't want to be a bad boy, but he was being a bad boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> forgive me. Uh, so we... Uh, he told us how to get rid of the poison as long as we helped him remove the geish. We took off the geish. Now we're doing great. <laughs> I was just reading about... I'm glad Get Me Out of This Hell Hole is working out as a tune. I, <laughs> I could have. Genuinely, I could have worked on that for another, like, six hours. There's a lot of ideas I had with it, but I was like, I cannot... I cannot invest more time than I already have into what, what is basically the most teeny tiny inside joke <laughs> of all time. 
Are we, let me, um, I feel like my music might be a little louder than the other stuff. So I'm gonna crank that down a little bit, Ski. We're trying out new things. I can be it by the lady's grace. She'll be done. Okay, so. So now. God, we have so many quests because we just got the Boulder's Gate that so we can do literally anything. Um so let's just see. We got we got a basilisk. Let's go kill a basilisk. Dockside warehouse. Lucky fella, aren't you? Why is getting prickly on me? I am a lucky fella. Okay, great. Thank you, Faye, for confirming. I'm always, I'm always, it's so funny, I, I work in audio all the time, including today. Like, I had a gig today that was just engineering, but I, I still, it still need a second uh, ear with things like this, especially with streaming, because it's like, it sounds different in my ears than it does to your guys. So we are going to leave this section of the map, and we're going to go to the docks. Okay, and then we want to go. I think the docks are here. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. Get me out of this. Uh, and I think it's gonna be in one of these warehouses. So let's try them. I'm glad your cat. Amy, I'm glad your cat feels that that song has special value. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Is I gave Dinah here these. Speedy boots, because I figured, you know, the maid should have a way to escape. But it just means she, like, runs ahead of the party now, so I have to just micro her to get her to keep up in the way that makes sense. Okay. Getting in there. Where Here we go. What's up, dude? Don't come in here. There's basilisk clues. That's the... That's why... <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. How did a basilisk get into a warehouse in the center of the city? Gorpal Hind. <laughs> That's a little bit sp spooper, isn't it? Spoopy? That's a little bit of a spoopy name. Uh, Gorpal Hind and his adventuring band, the Merry Fools, captured the beast a few weeks back. It was to be transported to Waterdeep to be shown at a carnival, but the thing woke up from its magical slumber before it was supposed to. But enough talk. Run! I just would like to say, there is nearly an identical quest in The Witcher 3. Like, I, even to the point where he, I think it's a guy who captured a cockatrice and says it's a basilisk, or the other way around, and he's like claiming it's one thing, and you're like, I'm Geralt, and I know better, and then it gets out and you have to kill it. But 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 the same same premise. Anyways. Forward. Where, where do these guys get the... Where's, what's the big idea with, like, hey, let's capture a giant monster <laughs> and take it to a carnival? I guess you gotta make money. In... in Farron. Farron. Get me out of this. Alright, let's... let's do, 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 if that'll work. And then... Does Dining here have Fireball? Yes, she does. I'll wait till Rebecca's back to... To, to show off fireball. Are you shooting arrows? You are. Cool. We're getting up there. We're getting up there with the level ups with uh, Dino. Here's the magic missile. It was trying to polymorph. Well, Doom worked great. Great job with the Doom. What? By the lady's grace, it'll be done. My cat was upset with me because I couldn't cuddle with her during my lecture earlier. <laughs> they do get that way. But as if on cue, Munch is screaming. What do you want, Munch? Okay. Can you sit? Can you sit? No? Okay. <laughs> well, by the lady's grace, it'll be done. Um, please do not. <laughs> Knock over my shit. Okay. <laughs> what you want? I, I want you to open some place. chests and check for traps. Scary dog privilege, but make it basilisk. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's the reason to capture them. Yeah, the downside is I haven't normalized all of these tracks because I just normalized them in in the podcast. But now, like this one, I can't really hear at all. I guess I can normalize it on here. Oh, but then that's gonna bring up everything else. <laughs> Whatever. Great, useless crossbows.
Some bolts. Oh, we didn't even pick up all this stuff. I'll do my best. I wonder if there's anything else in here besides just Ice a basilisk. That was a very um iron like collective quest. My cat doesn't sit, she decides to be the biggest thorn in our side. I love her anyways. Yeah, I mean cats cats are very they got personality, man. Yep. Some of them. Munch is like basically a, a stuffed animal. Like I don't even sometimes I'm not sure if she has bones, you know. Um because she just like well you pick her up and she just kinda <laughs> loses all of her uh rigidity. Alright, let's get out of here. We gained experience and that's what counts. Dun, dun, dun. Um Okay, let's do something else. Do we do we should we turn that in? The Darren can reward me. Where where did we find him though? Well, maybe we'll find him, maybe we won't. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, there's missing... Okay, we gotta go up to the sewers. That's what we were doing. Right. We were gonna go to the sewers, and then we found out we were poisoned. So, this is no good. Yeah, I have to say, so when we when we adopted Munch, uh, we checked out a bunch of other cats, and I wanted these, like, big muscular ones. <laughs> if there were, like, bros of cats, like, that's what I wanted, basically. Um, Eyes forward. And is this where it was? No. No. Um. Uh, but Munch was the only cat that when you picked her up, she like looked right into your eyes, with her little. She was so sweet. She's such a little baby. Um. And so we were like, this is the one, man. This one and no other. And so that that's my check from now on. We decided. Eyes uh, forward. Next cat we get. We're just gonna... It was like a circular structure, man. And uh, this one? Is it in here? I am checking. I don't Christ. see it. What are you doing, Munch? My cat loves being close to me. To the point where she will attempt to suffocate me just to get her food. Yeah, Munch does that to Rebecca. She'll lie, like, on Rebecca's neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome stuff. Um, I think it's funny. Anyway, um, I'm headed to Allstate Choir on Thursday. I'm a bit nervous. Oh uh, man, are you um, are you auditioning or are you already like doing it? Like, are you? Is it the 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 um the like three day weekend thing? It's one of these things, man. So you're in it. That's cool. That's amazing. Yeah, truly, congrats. That's not easy to do. That's uh, I think you'll. I think you'll have fun though. It's like a. It's almost like a summer camp kind of vibe, in my experience. Um. It was like a little great. City is a blight on the landscape. Better to have let the land grow Eyes wild. Forward. Yeah, I, I will never forget the experience of um, learning those tracks with that annoying. I don't know if you if you have this uh, if this is what it's like now, but we just had this like annoying like electric keyboard sound playing the 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 line of music we had to learn. I always hated it so much. I was like, why couldn't they just get somebody to sing it? <laughs> so I could hear, like, how the melisma works on this one line of um, nonsense. Forward. I think I'm just gonna... Is it down here? It's like in a fancy district, and there's like a little grate. We could just look at the map of Boulder's Gate for two hours, and that'd probably be fine. Um, I did, I did, uh, I think I did all shore, which is maybe only an eastern shore thing. Oh, you got a singer? That's nice. <laughs> that must be nice. 
Because, yeah, we learned from this <laughs> electronic keyboard. And it was not fun. I'm gonna change this track, because it's just this, like, grating thing for a while. <laughs> Let's get some actual music playing. Eyes forward. Move that back. Move that back. Okay. Um, one more, one more. I should just go around in a circle. Like at this point, process of elimination would be better than this like random spread I'm doing. It's like one of these places where you go in from the bottom. Certainly, I've checked this one already, right? I've checked like all three of these, I think. It's supposed to be on the eastern side. Um, I keep misplacing my pencils and I have no idea where they're going to. Eight people from our school got in. That was a record. Yeah, it's very, very competitive. I, I did not get into Allstate. I did Allshore. Um, and I'm a very good singer, quite frankly. But I, I, that was, I wasn't a very good choir singer because my blend is not, not that great. Eyes forward. You know, or my pitch or intonation or rhythm. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a great singer if you exclude this thing. Yeah, River, you you're very busy. You you you're living that 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 high school dream of just constantly doing things. I swear, Price. I swear it's around here somewhere. Is it in this region? No, it's over one. I think it's over to the left. Uh, I am a tenor, River. I was a tenor one. You know that joke? Um, how many tenors does it take to uh, screw in a light bulb? Oh, no, we can't go there. Okay. So how many times does it take to screw in a light bulb? And the answer is four. One to do it and three to complain that it's too high. And I always liked that joke because that was my experience. Okay, so this is the tower thing. Is it over here? Yes, it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Got it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. I'm so hyped. Yeah, the, the musician jokes of that variety are always good, you know? Like, how do you get a bassist to get off your porch? Pay him for the pizza. Um, there's some other good ones. Those are the only two I remember. <laughs> Look at Dinah here go, man. Just flying. Does your cat get in the way of your, your baking, Amy? Or is it... Is, or do they just hang around? Do they manage? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess so. Is that... I wonder what the, um... Like, the ratio is. Like, if it's, like, 50-50, like, 50% 50 of... Like, lower singers or tenors. I always felt, uh... Uh, it, it's a real grass is greener kind of situation with the tenor baritone thing. There are literally four tenors in each choir. Oh yeah, that's a good point. But is that just like of the men that are interested in singing? Like that's the question, right? Maybe there's a lot of. I don't want any feet this time. Because it's just gonna get everywhere. <laughs> what are you saying, no to you, River? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna switch back while we eat some food. We're talking about um, choir and I never did choir. cats suffocating. Uh, uh, Amy's cat lays on them the same way Munch does on you. Mm. Mm hmm. 
Like a scar. I'm very jealous of that river. We, uh, I went to two high schools. I went two years at one and two years at the other. And the first one was very, very, like the choir was really good. The second one, not so good. But my choir director did let me skip out on one of our festival. I think on festival, because it's only one day. And I, uh, in order to do a um, audition for college, which is how I got my scholarship. So, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a bright side. I never did choir. I was a dancer and a drama student. Rebecca's a really good singer, though. <laughs> That's not true. Don't believe him. Mm. This tastes a little bit different every time I make it. It does. It's true. <laughs> that vegan rav. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I, I I feel like I should get your input every once in a while so that I know we, how to make it next time. My high school was also very intense about choir. We had magical choir slash dinner theater type of thing. And Faye was also a dancer. Nice. Mm -hmm. I believe tenors are harder to come by. People's voices drop really low. That's probably fair. I, I wonder too how many dudes are like, no, I'm, I'm a baritone. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a tenor. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm really masculine, okay? I'm totally not a tenor. So. <laughs> um, I hope you're talking about me, River, um, because you'd be very surprised. I am tone deaf. Yeah, Rebecca's got uh, pitch deficiency. <laughs> But she makes up for it. In enthusiasm. That's right. <laughs> I like how you guys went from having like Russ and Shane and they get to like play games all day to like dinner time. Dinner time, dinner time with Rebecca and Munch. <laughs> <laughs> Although where's Munch now? Mm, behind us. Okay. She was harassing me. Oh, she's right behind me. You can see her actually in the... Um, River was talking about you. Look at her. There she is. Hmm? You can see her in the... Hmm. I mean, barely. Barely. Barely and barely. It's really weird having, like, the horror music with, like, us eating dinner. <laughs> like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> this track is unreleased it's coming out tomorrow it's Ooh. on the new oh, episode oh. do you want to go check that actually can you um it's ready oh I i'll check it to... oh is it ready yeah you you then you must you must uh, what's it called take the space shane is going to make sure that y'all have an episode to listen Fill to up the space. oh yeah you know that thing that we put out every week <laughs> i have to do it it needed a lot of edits this time but Shane's the best editor in the world, so he figured it all out. <laughs> you're not complaining about family dinner, but you want to know if you're going to get your shiny boys back. I feel that. <clears throat> um, yes, you will get your shiny boys back. Um, the shiny boys, I, we don't know. Russell is currently training. So potentially once training is over... He'll have a more set schedule, and once he has a more set schedule, either Shiny Boys will ride it on Mondays, or they will pick a new date. <laughs> Shiny Boys will ride. Um, what's stalking them in the night? Stalking us? I don't get that. I'm sorry, River. I don't. Maybe you. About, um, like. Episode like six or whatever. Is that better, Rebecca? Does that take care of the mm -hmm. okay, well, okay. Um Remember there's there's a monster in the the Shadow Timberland that we still don't know what it is. Oh, do you no, think well. Ethan has forgotten about that? <laughs> I wonder if he has. Well, Ethan has to keep track of a lot of stuff, so it's possible. But he did like put a real point on it. What is stalking us in the night? I don't think anything's stalking us right now, but maybe. Most definitely. Right, the shiniest hour of the day. Mm-hmm. Mm, because of the horror music. Mm-hmm. What's stalking us, Munch, behind us? 
Did mm-hmm. you down- uh, did you upload? Mm-hmm. I'll check to Ethan. Just do me a favor and check that beginning and ender there. Okay. Before you text Ethan. You guys are, are seeing the gears turn in real time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm genuinely... Not sure what the deal is with that lumbering creature. I really want to know. Because he just kind of like put it in there and then he moved on. And we were like, mm-hmm. um, okay, let's not... Let's not wake that sleeping lion. Sometimes I feel like he does that. Like the like the island. Oh boy, yeah, the island, jeez. In fairness, me and Russ really wanted to go to that island. <laughs> we totally would have. I did not want to. Hmm? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're here. I appreciate it, Zan. Yeah, we we've been doing YouTube just because we our audience is already concentrated there. So figured, what the heck, we might come back to Twitch at some point. But this works well enough for me. We also might multi-stream eventually, depending on whether that's what people want. <laughs> really, ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Zan, did you know there is? Um, a character in Boulder's Gate named Zan. Because that's pretty cool. He's got a big fiery sword, too. I did have to boot him for my party because I wanted Minsk. I think that was why. No, I wanted Dinah here, who's also a wizard. So I got rid of Zan. Mm. Sorry, Zan. Mid-64 is really close, considering you just started listening. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This year. <laughs> You are just powering through. I think my dad's on like episode 20. <laughs> I don't think my mother has listened to a single episode. Didn't she like try to put it on the car with Micah or something? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, River, if you would like to do spoilers, you can always do them in the spoiler channel. In that spoiler channel, yep. In the on Discord. The Discord, yep. Um, which is a, a patron only channel, though. So. It is. I think they are in those channels, though. I, are they? I don't know. I'm just saying for if they in a general. No, message. they popped into. They them. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. It's worth the spoilers are a patron only thing. So <laughs> I just think it's worth it. Right. Turn a patron on then. It's five dollars to get access to those spoiler channels. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh which by the way guys and gals and nbs if you aren't subscribed to the youtube please do because like i saw a stat recently on one of our like metrics that was like 50 percent of our listeners like on who listen on youtube are not subscribed which is like kind of wild wait how many 50 percent like 50%. so people just listen without subscribing Wow. Yeah. So please subscribe if that's you. Click that bell. <laughs> no uh, spoilers. I'm so behind. Pay to do up. Yeah, that's. Take your own upper arm. That means you gotta. How do you do an upper arm measurement? You wrap. Yeah, I have a. Do you want to try it, Chan? I've got a measuring tape. That no, but you have to. You have to lie and make my biceps bigger than they are. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. Okay, okay. So how do I do it? Ch- challenge mode. Okay. Hang those there. I'm like a pro. You just like had this. Uh-huh. You maniac. Okay. All right. This isn't that kind of program. <laughs> do I need to unfold this? On that side? You Where's the one? With... That's yeah. not one, so yeah. Super excited. This next session we're doing in my campaign is going to actually start the story. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah, you sure can sit around in a tavern yeah. a lot. Inches. Okay. And now, so I got to take arm, my upper own arm. upper arm. So what does that mean? Here? Yeah, like a high, high up, high up. Okay. Oh, you're doing shoulder circumference. Shoulder circumference. So, so back here? Like here? 
Like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then also you have to read it, so you have to know when you're alone. Well, I guess you could like... No, it's really difficult. Yeah, because then you just have to like, take like... it off, and like, where's it gonna go? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I could never do what you're doing, Faye. Never. I would not. My patience would last about this long. Um, <laughs> much less than the circumference of my shoulder is my patience. Uh, so what is it? Where do I go by? Yeah. 18? 18. But then your arm is up, so like you now have to put your arm down to try and make sure that 18 is... So it might be a little like, bit yeah, bigger. Yeah, because yeah. it's going to be pretty snug at 18. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I also got to add for all the muscle I'm going to gain <laughs> on my diet of ravioli and Red Bull. <laughs> nah, they just spent the day killing 22 goblins. They almost died already on the second session. Oh my gosh. That'll happen. Oh, that was crazy. Our reflection is in that window. Can you do it? Can Becca I do Blue? it? Yeah. Take your own shoulders to come? Probably not. Are you all? She, sounds like she's Wait, why would you do this? Forward facing. If you're building a costume. Mm hmm. Yeah, Faye is doing a, an Iron Light <laughs> Sentinel <laughs> cos, cosplay. I hope you don't mind me <laughs> <laughs> saying so, Faye. No, I think it's hard to do your own measurements for anything. Like. When was the last time you got sized for a costume? Like, properly? Um, 16 and a quarter. Nice. The last time I got sized properly um, was really devastating, actually. I was, um, I was in Why? callbacks because I was in callbacks for... Do you want my toast? I just don't want to crunch a mega toast right now. I don't want it right now. Okay. Um, I'm putting so it over. probably not. Okay. There's more stuff. I'm going to go get the second, the I'm, second course. I'm full. Okay, I'll have, like, just a little bit. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, I don't want to eat that much. I gotta, I gotta play Boulder's Gate. The next thing isn't hard to eat, though. What is it? Something special. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> the last time I got measured for something was devastating because I was getting measured for, like, period costumes. Um, and I was in a callback and, like, basically the only people who were gonna get cast on the project had to fit oh, yeah. the period costumes so it was a paid cast it was a paid costume fitting which was nice but i did not get cast because all of the period costumes were teeny 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 we're, tiny we're and i have broad shoulders that are not period standard 16 inches <laughs> I have broad shoulders, and none of the costumes fit me, and it was devastating because I really, really, really wanted to be in it, and the costumes were beautiful. Oh, and... man. <sighs> Ain't that oh, just well. the way? That's just the way. That is truly the way. But the, when was the last time last you Last time was in, like, college, I think. Because wore, I've worn costumes since, but usually they're Did just, like... Did you get measured like... for Doc Holiday? No. They didn't measure you? They I don't had think to so. have measured. No? May, they, they maybe just, like, they did. True no, they did. You. They did. Yeah. But they didn't like sew it for me. Like in college, yeah, they would Shane sew it. played Doc Holiday. Guys. Don't say this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have done one TV appearance and it, it's mildly embarrassing. <laughs> More than mildly, I should say. But yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. They could not tailor them because they were um, like historical. They were like on loan from a museum or something, mm -hmm. and so it was. All, they were not. They couldn't they, do they anything. Could to not them. do anything to them. They could only wear them as is. So you had to like fit into them perfectly, and then you would get cast to waltz around in them. Um, hence, you know, dance I was cast because I was a dancer. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But ugh, devastating. And now, uh, Zan, I think it's. I think getting size for your suit is definitely. I mean, Yay. if a suit's not a costume. And what I is? I feel like a costume is a suit. Suit's a costume, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's some that's the truth bomb. <laughs> I think I'm funny. Uh, back in 2020, I auditioned for the musical Chicago. And I got a role in everything, but it got candid. Can, can, oh, because canceled. Yeah, because of, you know, the big old virus. That big old virus that happened. And is still... Pretty much still happening. 
Oh, well. I think Rebecca's bringing more food, so I'm not going to switch over. <laughs> Wedding costume. Huh? It's going to be a minute? Oh, here we go. <laughs> you sure you don't want to split her? Because you're missing out. <laughs> Shane this is my audition Shane for all state choir. He <laughs> wore the same suit to his brother's wedding to his own wedding. That's true. <laughs> I, I wear I, well, a good suit will last you a long time. <laughs> true. <laughs> this is my favorite part because I split it. Get, 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 get. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun to make. Let me turn this back down on my end. Oh, man. I mean, well, I mean, then it gives you some kind of some kind of goal, right, Zay? <laughs> or a reason to buy a new one. My new favorite, like, thing to do is get a suit tailored, though. It makes me so happy to, like, be like, this suit fits me perfectly. Yes. Yeah, I can't. That, just looking at that makes my stomach a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's not bad. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Um. Thank you, though. I give up. Okay. Those pants look good. Thank you. Rebecca got these new pants. She's obsessed with. Oh, it is magical, for sure, for sure. There's something really special. I've always liked dressing uh, nicely. Like, I, love, I used to wear ties every Friday in college, or every Monday. Um, and I, I was in bands all through high school and stuff that would also um, be, we would, we would wear suits and stuff. We would wear costumes, but they were often like formal-esque costumes. Okay. Are you coming back? Are you, are you, it doesn't matter. This is just as fun. Or I can play the game and you can come back. <laughs> Zan says watching the two of you is like watching a mirror. <laughs> well, I'm still not a legal adult yet, so I am not a good suit tailor yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna suit tailor. Oh, it's, it's bad now? Okay. Man, thank you, Faye. Gosh. It's, I gotta keep it, like, pretty middle of the road. The problem is my monitor. If I can figure out a way to make that the same, that would be great. <sighs> so let me, I'm gonna switch over. Oh, yeah, that should help anyway. And then also, let's just make this a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, we have um, Fireball now, Rebecca. Boo! So I can show you. Boo! Feels like maybe the movie. Still a little loud. I think this song is also particularly loud because it's like a combat track. Um, let's go find something to fight so I can show off how cool Fireball is. Gross. Gross. Are there gonna be like Umber Hulks down here? There's a rat child. But it's just a baby. I am Rat Child. <laughs> I destroy all of those who oppose my people. Feel the wrath of Rat Child. Feel my wrath and tremble. Um. <laughs> uh. Please don't hurt us, oh mighty Rat Child. You mock Rat Child. No one mocks Rat Child that lives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
Oh no! Okay, this is the perfect- this one just came out! Like, this guy was stealthed, man! We failed the perception check. Alright, so this is gonna hurt. Mostly me. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna test River's, uh, <laughs> query and just cast it right in front of Dinah here. And everybody else just chill. Ah, uh, she got can it got cancelled. Alright, 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 alright. Who cares for it? Uh, well, you, you can get your- if you take damage while you're casting, it interrupts it. It's too bad. Can she run, or are we done for? Yeah, we're done for. Oh, okay, no. we're gonna let- we try to <laughs> It was a good idea, it just wasn't a good idea. Alright, let's just go. Let's do this. This one's gonna, like, pop up right here. I wonder if I pre-cast it. Or, like, let's just send Minsk in. I just gotta set up this fireball so it actually works out. I think this is one of the ones that we have on the on the YouTube channel. All right. Okay. Shoot. I forgot about this one that hides. You're a queer fellow. Whatever. Maybe she'll get it done anyway. Okay, get ready. You see? You see where it's about to center? And Minsk is probably gonna die? Yeah! See how great that was? <laughs> no. Run, Minsk! Run! You're getting arrowed! Did they all die? No, they no, it just killed, like, one of them. But I don't know how much damage it did. It critted... It critted... No, he critted us. We killed one of them. See, 19 fire damage. Look at that one. It only hit one, in fairness. <laughs> it was not a great use of that spell. I just want you to see the, the VFX, man. Um, and let's heal Minsk, because... Poor guy. I think Fireball is dumb. You're gonna be fine, Minsk. Stop crying. Are we stuck in this thing? Oh man, he is gonna die. You have, like, a second wind? No, you don't. Alright, um... She's going, but she's real slow. Let's, um... I could, he probably has a potion he can use. Somebody does, anyway. Unless we're not close enough. Yeah, toss this over. Because he's a tanky boy. This is one of my favorite things. So Minsk has a pet hamster, right? Mm -hmm. And so he has one of his quick item slots taken up by the hamster. You, you can't remove it. <laughs> this is pretty, pretty nice. It's a nice touch. Well, now we know. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I don't know if all of you were here last time when we revealed this, but this character right here, Kellett Greg, he is a fully realized, fully voiced character right now. And I'm pretty hype about it, quite quite frankly. Thank you. See, this is why I didn't want them. <laughs> <laughs> there is no crying in Baldur's Gate. That's true. Oh, there's just more kobolds every turn, man. I am sad that I couldn't, like, make some kind of partnership with Ratchild. I felt a kinship. Alright, what, what, what do you guys, what do you guys keep on you? I forget why we're down here. I you like rat creatures. I, I, I relate to rat creatures, truly. I truly do. I think in my in my previous lives I was a rat. Many of them. <laughs> multiple previous, multiple consecutive previous lives. <laughs> you were a, I was a rat. A rat child, perhaps. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess you must be to be a rat. You have to start as a rat child. One of my D&D &D players in, in the uh, game I used to run, his character was was uh, nicknamed Rat. And he would go around saying, the name's Rat. <laughs> and it really, everybody at the table thought it was very funny. And it, 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 you had to Which, be there. When was this? This is Matt. Matt Powers. He was Rat. Oh, right, the name's Rat. The name's Rat. It was short for something else. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it was one of the... <laughs> yeah. I gave him his elaborate backstory and then he came to our table going, the name's Rat. <laughs> Pretty cool. They had fire arrows, dude. That's legit. That feels good. Can Donnie here identify? 
Yeah, it's Faith good. says for a moment she thought you meant you were multiple rats in a singular past life. Oh, I was I was a swarm of rats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be possible. God, what if I'm a swarm of rats now, just like wearing human skin? <laughs> they sit on each other's shoulders, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm comfortable with that. Huh? Okay. You're amazing. Thank you for being here. Especially even through um, Get Me Out of This Hellhole. You soldiered through that. I did. You know, she's not a shiny boy, but she's 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 a, she's a class in and of herself. I don't know what else. I don't know what other. I don't know the appropriate term here. <laughs> well, you have fun. But but I really appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for stepping in when Russell failed me once more. Yeah. I'm just gonna rest here because I don't feel like wasting the healing spells. Ah, no. Did it stand for Ratatusker? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't recall if there was any... I don't remember what the... His, I don't even know if his actual name was Rat in any capacity. Or if they, it was just he just decided that people called him Rat. So, you know. Alright, we're all healed up now. Ever since our errant fireball experiment. I think I'm gonna move my... Yeah, let's do that. These are... Well, I don't know. Nice. She just critted with her fist, I think. <laughs> Weird. Do they, they do take damage. I, you know, Magic Missile is just such a good spell, man. There's, there's a dead guy there. It's nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that pixel effect of just... The flies. I wonder if my, my voice line for... Um, for being in a sewer will trigger. Okay, there's another way up. No world tree destroying squirrels are among us. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a, a DOS reference, right? Low-key river, that squirrel. Um, if you are referencing the DOS squirrel, I think you are. Uh, that's Divinity Original Sin. Um, I made my friend go back and play so many combat encounters just to keep that freaking thing alive. <laughs> so many times. Damn Russ, we're being let down. <laughs> I know we had to put up with Rebecca. Ugh. <laughs> no, Russ is, Russ is alright. He's okay. Yeah, River, this is one of my... Er, sorry, Faye. This is one of my fave tracks, I think. It's hard to decide. I like them all, but this one is a is a lot of utility. Works for a lot of combat scenarios, which makes my life easier because if I don't have to write another track, then I can just move on. Just playing North Missal, uh, North Missal mythology Christmas. I can't speak. I did not know that. That's the world tree. Interesting. Yes, that makes more sense now. I am straining to get the reference, but but I'm glad you explained it. Thank you. Okay, are these all gonna go the same place, or are they all going different places? Because I kind of like it's like should I f finish exploring here? One enemy should have fireball. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they ever do. I don't know if enemies ever cast fireball. They must, right? Yeah, they must, because they cast everything else under the sun. All right, that's another way up. There's another dead, dead something. No, what is that supposed to be? There's flies. Ooh. Ooh, some 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 fellas. Sewer cleaners. Hey guys. Man, worst job in the the medieval Baronic timeline. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay. I'm a huge Percy Jackson fan, so I know a thing or two about different mythologies. That's great. That's cool. I used to be like, I wanted to be somebody who knew all, all the mythologies, and then I just... I don't know. You know how you want to be things, and then you just you just disappoint yourself constantly. <laughs> you know how life happens when you want to do things. Oh no. There's an actual rat. My people. Can I talk to the rat? Do I have to be with animals? No. At least not prepped. But I don't think there's. I don't think it's in this game because it's a nightmare program. I have charm person or mammal. Oh, she has it. Let's charm a rat really quick, just for fun. Just, so, just, just to, just to be with my, my friend for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> the name's Rat. Uh, I'm killing the forgetfulness game tonight. Neglected to add a buddy tab on my tape. A buddy. T what do you, uh, Faye? What do you mean a buddy tab on my tape? Is that like, what? I'm, I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't. Uh, can I open this? Oh, there's dead bodies in here. Male body, male body. <laughs> I wish that this, this would just last forever and I could just keep this rat with me the whole time. <laughs> hey DM, can I, can I keep this rat? Okay, what's gonna be? Ooh, <laughs> so cleaners are slacking with all the bodies. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. There, there, they just seem to be cleaning that one section of the sewer. So, I mean, which is fair. Like, who's checking up on them? You know. <laughs> they probably don't. Okay, we're in a broth. Oh, oh, that's some courtesans. Nice. So we just came out of the sewers into the... Okay. Okay. I think I'm... I think this is not the right place. <laughs> Moving on! Let's get out of here. Who's Diller? This is the underseller. Ooh, um... He's being rude, because we just walked in. I like how he's like, this is my office. This is a, this is a barren stone room, sir. <laughs> I allow this. Rats are the one things I'll be allowing the party to keep. <laughs> uh... I wouldn't be putting too much stock in all the rumors you hear about my place. Any establishment that serves clientele that I do is likely to inspire a few tales, though I'd appreciate you not adding fuel to the fire. Good if to you. Okay, dude. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. I wonder if there's anybody important I should talk to down here. It doesn't look like we kept the rat, unfortunately. Oh, uh, please. Please stop. Please stop saying that we have <laughs> Uh, okay. What about Quinash? Don't bother me. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Um, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> There's just like a secret entrance to the sewers over here. One man's barren cellar is another man's office. Nice. Alright, maybe there's another another way here. <laughs> it would have been funny if the rat freaked people out. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could Oh no oh no, is he no, he's my enemy because I cast a spell on him. No, don't Okay. We are not killing that rat. It's not happening. 
Oh, that scared me. I thought they were gonna auto attack it. And then my 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 one friend would be, oh hey guys, what's up, carrying crawlers? Nice work, team. Good stuff blowing that guy up. We don't like carrying crawlers. They might hurt our rat friends. I'm a little bit afraid to take damage from it because it's gonna like disease me, and then I'll have to use a spell slot and cure disease. Whatever, let's find out. Okay, nothing yet, because we're being very efficient killing them. I do have, like, two people who can cast Cure Disease, so if it happens, it happens. <laughs> we'll keep that. Oh, man, I like that there's just an Ogre Mage. Is he, like, farming? Is this gonna be a little little farm that needs to get fireballed? Is that what is that what we're walking into right now? My pet's killing these intruders. Yes, he is. Okay, uh, let's 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 everybody just go back and and let's let's try out let's try it out. Oh, this is gonna be good, dude. And then I want to, while that's happening, cast silence because he's a mage. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, I want. I don't know, call lightning, I guess. Let's just do it. You know, can you just not for now? Ooh. Spicy! That's a good fireball. Alright, just, just, just boil him. <laughs> By the way, if I'm here, that ram is stay alive, or I will never let you live that down. Destruction of crops is standard hero business. That's true. I mean, if you're not causing property damage, what kind of hero are you, you know? I canceled my silence cast, unfortunately. Oh no, now we're going to lose because everybody's confused. Just do it. You're doing great, dude. You're doing so good, man. I don't know. Are we going to get time to cast my assassin arrow? Probably not. Let's use this wand. Yeah, clean. Very good. This is my favorite part. Is Jahira is going to like wander all the way down this thing and start another fight. Oh, we're fighting. I mean, he's going to win that fight. Oh, don't kill Dinah here, man. Just chill. I like how Emoen's just chilling. Alright. <sighs> okay, thank you guys. Good job. Let's just... Let's keep rolling. Is Emoen detecting traps? What are people storing in these sewers? More dead bodies! Alright, we've learned recently that... Oh, these are... Whoa, hey, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This is some freaking... Uh, some freaking... Uh, big spider stuff. <laughs> Webbing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we yeah, have the antidote. Did I need to take that? Have I not taken that? I think I took it. I have nine of them for some reason. Whatever. Uh, okay. This is this is literally um. Damn slacker sewer cleaners. Truly, truly, I feel like the sewer cleaners probably could have picked up on this. <laughs> I feel, I feel that 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 is uh, 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 a little bit of an oversight on their part. In one of the the earliest games of D&D I played with Ethan, your DM Ethan, uh, we had a hallway like this, and I was playing like a chaotic good character, 
and I was like insistent that we go check every single body, you know, because they might be alive, right? And then uh, my the party was very unhappy with me, <laughs> which is actually how we developed one of our um, our very special rules in Venture Forth was that that day. Protects from undead, nice. Um, I should probably use these at some point in my life. Let's just use. Let's just use them, you know. Yeah, maybe report that. <laughs> I mean, I don't really blame the sewer cleaners for not cleaning out the spiders. It feels like they do any basic job in a uh, Farron. Freaking carrying crawlers, man. To do any job in Farron at all, you have to be. Very well equipped to fight. <laughs> oh snap! This is not what I anticipated. Hey guys, what's what's going on? These are guards, but they're not stopping me. Is this the freaking? We're back in here. Do all roads lead to the brothel? That's the question. All right. Although there's just like. Caked up bodies in here. And then the brothel. <laughs> Just an entrance to the brothel. Okay. <laughs> you really gotta be made of, made of, of firm stuff. Of, of tough material to survive. Boom, 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 ba -da -da. Dun. Sounds like a very unstable economy. Yeah, yeah, that's. I think that's fair. <laughs> I forget what we're actually. I think we're we're still trying to find out. Oh, actually, we know where the Iron Throne people are. What are we doing down here? Missing citizens. I investigate the sewers in the east side of the city to find out why people have been disappearing. Scar the flame of fist barracks wants to know how to find out. Okay. <laughs> Zan, you said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, I came to the same conclusion. <laughs> I like that everybody. <laughs> Just boom, boom, boom. Okay, technically we want to go to the east side of the city, so maybe let's stop going to the west side of the city. And this looks like I could be there, but I can't. I can't go through. There's another rat. Hey, man. Hey, man. How you doing? At least the sewer cleaners aren't cleaning up the rats, you know? Okay, let's try this way. We gotta, we gotta find the. I mean, it's like, yeah, it feels like the maybe the people embedded in the wall with spider goop are, are are probably the reason the missing citizens. But that didn't like give me a quest update, so I think I probably gotta kill the spider, or whatever the real source of the problem is. All I'm saying is that there are definitely brothels in Rome. <laughs> they get a bad rap. That's true. Um. Okay. Is this? Were we? We were already here. Okay. So we just went around. Yeah. I did that today in my car on the way to my job. Whoa, okay. That cut off kind of randomly. Am I hitting something? Feels like something's getting triggered on my playlist. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. We're just going to move on. We're just going to keep going.
<laughs> Sorry. Do you think the missing citizens have tried just not being stuck to the walls? Have you guys considered not getting um, trapped by some kind of big spider creature? Did we just lose the... Let me see here. No, we didn't. Hmm. I don't know where my tunes went, man. Gotta have the tunes. Um, here it is. Let's just start it up again and see what happens. Nope. Nope. Yep. Oh, well. My, my, my finder is kind of not responding, but that's okay. Or whatever it's called, file thingy. I need to get an actual media player on Windows. I'm just, I was just using a Windows media player, so. That would be why. I like how there's just a body. Literally, like, dude's like, hey, find out where all the missing people went. And it's like, there's nothing but bodies down here. <laughs> like, I think I found all your missing people, dude. They're just corpses. Okay. Still can't go through there. Is this... Oh, my God. Labyrinthine path. Let me... I'm going to turn the music back on here. Just so that we have something. Although there's no music in this location. Where in the blazes are we supposed to go? There we go. Where I tried that. Maybe all roads do lead to the brothel. For a reason. I mean, that is pretty suspicious, right? All I'm saying is that if you respect spiders, they'll respect you. That is true. Oh, what's up, spider? Speaking of... For the fallen! <laughs> <laughs> Where are all the people going? Uh, sire, have you checked the sewer bodies? By the Lord's grace, it'll be done. Uh, let's try this way, even though it's technically west. This is going to go back to the brothel, I swear. Because, like, this this right here is, is a brothel entrance, so. <laughs> Death by Snoo Snoo. What else? What do we got? Is this just nothing? It can't just be nothing. Okay. All right. Let's just go back. Let's just go. Let's just, let's let's go. Let's go investigate further. Although I am gonna I'm just gonna turn this off for a little bit. <laughs> I can't stand that one view. Line. Do, 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 do. This was later remedied, this this particular issue in, in this style of game. Where you just have to watch your party go back. Although this place, this game does like respawn enemies, which is kind of interesting. Like you can retrace your steps and there will be new enemies. It's kind of fun. Okay. I like how there are guards here. It's very mysterious, but I guess you, you gotta have guards. Alright. We already tried talking to Kanash. We tried talking to the boss man. Is there like another secret door somewhere? Let's try this. Let's try this way. Because maybe there's just like another section of the sewer we haven't looked at yet. Trying to figure out where all these bodies, where all these missing people went. Just like sorting through the corpses. But where did all the missing people go? Uh, 
Okay, this is this must be the actual entrance. No thanks, we'll be leaving now. Oh nice, thanks dude. He just let me do it. <laughs> we'll protect it from the spiders, very good point. Yeah, this is probably like out to the city proper. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> that's the that's the copyrighted music. I feel like the only like track that like flags YouTube's algorithm for some reason. Or whatever whatever thing tracks that stuff. Yeah, so now we're just back out. God damn it. Son of a gun. Yeah, you're probably right, Zan. Let me talk to some people. I'm just... I'm just terribly shy. <laughs> okay, we can do music again. Jeez. And then it brought back that sound, too. Um, we already tried Kanash, and she got mad at us. We talked to that other guy. And he got mad at us. Why is everybody so mad down here? Uh, I'm looking for named characters. I don't see any other named characters. And I think I exhausted my ability to speak with that guy. Hooey, okay. Let's try... That's where our, our accidental... Is there a way up here? There's a way up. We don't want a way up, though. Do not hurt that rat. Do not. I'm quick save. I can't save because monsters are about. Do not hurt that rat. You guys move on. You move on. Okay, so we're back out. Question. Yes. Um, the, what exactly is the written on the hanger? Is that stuff you want me to dry? Yes. And then the stuff in front of the hanger? It's all dirty. Stuff you want me to put. Yes. And the stuff behind my pillow. The stuff that... It's just there. It's just there. I, th I think that's from you. For me, that was on top of the, in the um, container. Okay, well then it's just there. I don't know. I was probably moving it out of the way. Can you guys tell me what's going on, you sewer cleaner guys? Good gravy. Can't go that way. Oh, let's try this. Let's try this. It's not that I have no love for the consorts, I just respect them too much. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is back here. Okay, we already went this way. Okay. I mean, we found a lot of reasons that people could have gone missing. You know, like that whole, like that guy. Okay, there's, there's more stuff to explore here. There's more of my buddies. I wish I could talk to them. That'd be so nice. This symbol, it's two faces, right? Looking at each other. But I've always seen it as like one cat head. You know? You know what I'm talking about? Like this symbol, this golden um, reticle symbol. It's two, it's two like faces it's, I can't it needs to be backwards for this to work it's two faces facing each other but I've always just seen a, a, like a cat head or like a mouse head anyways anyways hey buddy this one's just coming along Oh my god, we're just going back. We're just going, we're just, we're checking every freaking corner of this place. This is where we came in, by the way. We are gonna find every entrance to that brothel.
Uh, I don't think there was a dead rat. I didn't see one. I blame Ratchild for the disappearances. Truly, truly, like, we could totally just be like, yeah, dude, we found the thing. There was this, like, mage guy, and, uh, and, like, Ratchild. <laughs> he was pretty serious. Lots of reasons that people could be disappearing. Oh! That <laughs> guy came out of nowhere, okay. Uh, stop where you are, pale child. He should have referred to me as my legal name. Rat child. Ooh. I like that this one's written in my dialect. Stand aside and grant me passage. I have no fear of you. All are welcome amongst the sure folk. Hey, shall it be? Nice. Thanks, dude. Oh. What's up? Oh, oh. Spideys. Let's go, dude. Look at all these freaking... Oh, again. Okay. Oh, sh she's poisoned. We're done. It's over. Uh... She's poisoned. She has 11 HP. Use it. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Number one cause of death in this game is one character getting poisoned. Or confused. There you go. Clean work, everybody. Well done. Especially you, Kellic, for healing that poison. Speaking of, let's turn that voice back on. Well, what will it be? If I can be of service, I'll do it. Yo, look at this model for the spider, though. That is some spooky front legs, man. Good job, everybody. Now just go to sleep right next to the spider corpse. Nope. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, now try again. I can't rest at this time. Let's try again. I mean, everybody's basically healed now. Oh, what did I click? I clicked something. Oops. Go in there. Go back down. We got. We gotta get to the bottom of this, literally. Okay, let's follow the the spider eggs. Maybe we'll get to a different brothel. <laughs> Because that's like, those things seem connected somehow. Dude, it always teleports to Dinah here. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you hear it leveled up, dude. Let's go. Spooky vibes check. Truly, truly spooky vibes check. Let me just check this. Uh, no word from... Uh... Okay. Good to know. Cool. Eyes forward. My A brothel of spiders, perhaps? <laughs> Alright, I forgot to do the level up. Boom. And that's it. Done. Just got 18 decks from one of her items. That's pretty sick. Um, oh yeah, let's do it. Let's get another point. What about in two-handed weapon style? What do we get? What do we get? Uh, two slots. The wielder gets a further minus two bonus to speed factor. Nice, so he's swinging, swinging hella fast. Let's go. Alright guys, it's time I must say farewell and good riddance. Yeah, well, you will be missed, River. Even though you had to you know, squander your time with us. <laughs> Rat child sends his regards. Okay, we're just doing the laps here, just checking every spider rig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being here, River. <laughs> it's always good to hear how your how your campaign's going. And I'm glad that the PSATs had no effect on your life whatsoever. And I really have a great um, Allstate. It's going to be really cool. I, like, I understand being nervous, but it's going to be super duper cool. I hope you have a lot of fun, especially. This is the Sewer King? Alright. 
How old my children? We have guests among us. Ah, uh, yes. I can sense you now. And your leader, a child of books you were. Aye, ah, books are good, and a child of fate. He, I have heard of you, Kellett Gray. Everybody has. Uh, I have heard your name whispered down these stony halls, where the drip of water mingles with the gurgling of the dead. They have wanted you dead, you know. Mm -hmm. The dead wanted me dead? Uh, oh, yeah, I can ask that. Who has wanted me dead? Have you? Who, Slumsha? No, not I, not yet. But your death is so tempting, now, so near. I can almost taste it on you, child. Um, what death do you taste on me, Sewer King? A death foretold. A death planned for by the gods themselves. He! <laughs> a single laugh. He! Or maybe a Michael Jackson. <laughs> just, just in that moment. <laughs> I'll tell you more, not Shlamsha, not the faithful sewer kid, no. Uh, must I take the nature of my fate from you by force, sewer king? Thank you, Shlamsha. Your prophecies are harsh, but their truth is not immutable. I shall face them as I can. He. <laughs> he. <laughs> he. I have told you enough, but I have not told you all. The sewers may claim you, Cut Gray, but I shall not. Okay. Thanks, dude. Look at this freaking this guy's the this guy's rules. <laughs> this guy's this guy is my role model. I wanna be I wanna command the rats and the slimes, man. Come on. <laughs> that guy's my that guy's my new my new fave. Besides Rat Child, of course. Man, the sewers are just where I belong, it seems. This is... I don't want to leave yet. I don't I don't know where this leads. What's going on in the sewer, everybody? Man, guys, can you not get caught up on each other? Thank you. Okay, this is all exits. I gotta do it. Oh, there's like a... Okay, more sewer, or are we back now? Looks like we're back. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. This game is, like, actually great. I'm gonna say something maybe controversial, but I really appreciate not having uh, uh, waypoint markers and having to figure it out. I don't know, it may, may not make for the best uh, viewing experience, because a lot of me going like, hmm, I don't know where that is. But I really like to have to figure stuff out for myself. Except when Minsk is gonna go crazy and kill my party as a result of that. That was that was a hard day. Okay, we don't need that. That's just a dead body. Okay, where else? Where else could we go? I guess we can go back. The sewer king went this way, right? Vaguely. So let's go this way. I like how the sewer king was just like, "What's up?" You, you, everybody hates you. See ya. <laughs> everybody I know wants you dead. Peace. Man, oh man. And is this bath? This is, I think, I'm pretty sure this is a brothel. Accurate adventuring experience without a design mapper. Yeah. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. And I'm totally here for, um, also, like, whatever level of hand-holding people want in games. I totally respect that as well. But I, my personal preference is to have to hunt down everything kind of endlessly. Man, this is tough, though. <laughs> I do wish, I do wish, I would, I would like to have a little more clarity on these tunnels. On, like, which one is which, which I guess I could get from... Like going up to figure out like where we are in Boulder's Gate because this is like the middle, right? Yeah, and we want to go on the east side. forward. Um, so if there's a way to get to the east side, then that's what I should do. It reminds me of the good old days of games before just looking it up on the internet. Truly, man. I, we, my, we bought the, like, um, 
what was it called? Like, I, we bought, like, the Super Mario 64. Oh, snap, we're crashing a little bit. Okay, we're alright. I can't remember what it was, but it was a big yellow... Was it called, like, Nintendo Guide or something? Like, Nintendo made guides for its games, and that was, like, how you could get answers to things. Price. Price. I remember, like, discovering... That's our, that's our rat friend, which we're avoiding. Move on, everybody. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yeah, I know. Okay, so now where are we? Are we east yet? No. So this is the problem. Okay, so we gotta find a sewer entrance to the east. Maybe let's do it above ground so we can actually... ...organize our thoughts. Okay, so now we gotta really pay attention to this... ...this, the ground, in front of us. We're looking for those little, like... ...it looks like a little... Fan, kind of. Like a fan grate. Game Informer Game Guides? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I, 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 my, my most pronounced memory- Ooh, here we go! Here we go! My most, my most pronounced memory is, like, discovering game facts. I'm being like, this is the greatest thing I have ever seen. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Shit, we've already been here. Okay. Eyes forward. Yeah, eyes forward, Kelly. Let's try this one, then. Let's go up one. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. Um... And I remember trying in Legend of Zelda, in Ocarina of Time, I remember trying to get, like, the white tunic by plugging my sword into the, uh, the, the Temple of Time a hundred times. And I remember trying to get the, uh, purple tunic by winning the, the, um, the race with the guy in the white outfit. Because those were not real. That was not a thing, but... I sure, well, I sure tried them, because I couldn't look them up. Okay, so we have been everywhere, man. So we're missing out on something kind of basic. Unless we... Um, unless we're good on this. East side of the city, find out why people... Okay. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. I mean, there's further east from here, but we can't get through it to there. Does this lead somewhere? <laughs> Dude, it was so groundbreaking. That game was, yeah, I mean, yeah, that game's pretty amazing. It's very, very cool. A lot to be said for just like. And the influence that game had on, on everything. Like, there's no Dark Souls without Legend of Zelda. Ocarina. Probably not Legend of Zelda in general, but especially Ocarina. I'm a fan. Let's, like, see what's up here. Because... I'm pretty close to just, like, giving up on this. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe, um, what's his name? has some some more intel on the on the quest because now we're is this is about to make no sense now we're down here okay hmm I guess we could try the northeast because now we officially have like comprehensively mapped the sewer let's try this one unless we already did this well the brothel definitely leads there. Is that the only entrance here? Because if we go... There we go. There's a sewer entrance right here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And there's some mildly undiscovered fog of war here. No great revelations, okay. <laughs> and this is east of that. But we were just there, right? This is where we just were. Okay, okay. Let's try it. Let's try talking to the Flaming Fist guy. If he can't give us anything... 
It's gotta be the brothel, right? I don't know. I don't understand. Cause that, cause this, this literal like spider tunnel leads to the brothel. Unless, where does this lead? Dun 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 dun. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Gather it up. Okay. Is this about to make no sense at all? No, it makes sense. Okay. So we have... There's a lot of sewer entrances, I guess. It's funny, because it took me forever to find the one. If, uh... If Flame of Fist Guy can't give me any more info, then... I might, I might move on to a different quest. Because we, we, you know, we met a lot of good people down there. We met the Sewer King. We met Rat Child. We had it. We had our own adventure. You know, we don't need a, we don't need a big, uh, burst of experience to feel good about that. Maybe we'll be able to tell him it was Rat Child. Scar. I am a man of my word. Hey, we are. Look at that. Okay. We learned that an ogre mage hold up in the sewers and responsible for all the disappearances. He had several carrion crawlers that would s steal out at night to carry off random victims. Crawlers used their hapless prey as food, while the ogre mage took any valuables they might have. Where did we learn that? <laughs> I mean, we a guy was like, go get him, and then we killed that guy. I didn't, I didn't glean any of this from that encounter. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the second one, because I don't think we actually know why. Uh, he's gonna need some people to do some investigating with the Iron Throne. I'm just going to finish up some paperwork, and I'll be outside the main doors of the Flaming Fist compound. If you wish to discuss the Iron Throne, just talk to me there. Okay. Sick, dude. I love discussing the Iron Throne, man. That's like my thing. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. Um... There he is. There's my boy Scar. Good, good call, Zan. That was a good call. I don't know how much longer I would have <laughs> careered around that. That is, that is, that is classic. That is so classic, me. <laughs> but that is something I will do. Is just like stumble around the dark for hours instead of um, doing something very simple. Uh, I have another job for you. This one involves a group you've dealt with in the past, the Iron Throne. Duke Elton himself wishes to speak with you about this. Will you come with me? Yeah, okay. I'm talking with the Grand Duke. <laughs> hey, we're not in the mines, old! We did it! <laughs> I am a man of my word. Nice. Okay, let me introduce you to the Grand Duke Elton. El Elton. Elton John. Grand Duke Elton John. One of the lords of the city, commander of the Flaming Fist, and member of the Lord's Alliance. I'm, I'm glad I'm not... I don't actually know Elton John's voice or music or anything enough to make that into a meme, so we're just going to move on. I'm glad to see that you have come. I know that such a meeting is unusual, but in these circumstances, it is necessary. I would first ask what involvement you have had with the merchant society known as the Iron Throne. Yeah, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, we've learned that they're involved in a plot that threatens the stability of your city. Wow. Go off, Duke. From what I have been told, you've been quite a thorn in the side of the Iron Throne. I'm interested in you because of the obvious hatred that they hold for you. <laughs> Is every character in this game just going to tell me that everybody hates me? Um, the recent activities have been brought to my attention, and I am very dubious about the intent of the throne. I think it is far too easy to blame the recent caravan raids and iron shortage for the center room. Though the evidence does point to them. They do not have much to profit, while the Iron Throne has everything to gain. Um, I have much concern. Uh, I have much to concern me right now, especially with the tension rising between our city and the nation of Am. Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I can't ask act against the Iron Throne until I have had evidence of their wrongdoing. That uh, that's of course where you come in. I need a small group of spies to break into the Iron Throne headquarters and see if they can find any proof of the Throne's involvement with the caravan raids. Uh, if you do this for me, you'll be paid extremely well. Two thousand gold to divide among yourselves. What is your answer? Uh, sure, dude. I think I have already... I already went up there and, like, killed everybody, so... Like, okay, we'll be, we'll be honored. 
Uh, it is a difficult mission that I give you. I'm sure you have enough wherewithal to make it through. Return and report to me once you have enough information to use. Okay. BRB, dude, we're just gonna go back to that place we've already been. Right. And killed everybody in. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Because, like, wasn't everybody, um, a changeling? Yeah. So, um, for anybody who's not caught up, the Iron Throne is replacing everybody with changelings. Um, basically they're just trying to take over, like, all of the government? I think, or something? They're, they've positioned themselves, uh, they tried to position themselves with, um, where is it? It's around here, right? No, it's in a different section. It's in the, the southwest, I think. Um, they have, they have, they tried to monopolize the, like, iron market by, like, uh, poisoning the iron of the other main mine that U U saw me going through. Um, he saw, he saw me do both mines. That's, uh, well, that's the old thing. It's just Hi, crazy about mine. Um, okay, so it is, is it, you know, where is it? Is it here? Eyes forward. Not here. Yeah, this is the... I think it's the middle one. Eyes forward. Why can I not remember anything? Alright. Let's try again. Try again, Shane. Was it in that section? Right. We've already been there and I can't even remember where it is. Uh, it's not up here. We were already... There it is. I like that it's like labeled. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, so they, they are doing that and then they're also replacing like wealthy merchants and business people with changelings. Um, uh, for reasons we do not yet know, but we did kill a lot of changelings. Like most of them. By the grace. Pretty sure all of these are changelings, so we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna hop up to the third floor. We're just gonna pop up there really quick. Right. By the lady's grace, be done. By the lady's grace, be done. All right, so now I just need some evidence. You guys don't mind me, right? Was oh, there more? Oh, there's another floor up. That's right, that's right. Okay, here we are. Eyes forward. All right, let's check out what's in here. Maybe the desk? What do we have here? Realtar, my superiors are intrigued by your proposal. I would like to discuss it further, but not through correspondence such as this. The Harpers and the Zents have been very active in this region of late. It would be very unfortunate if they tried to disrupt an alliance between our two organizations. If you, Brunos, and Thaldorn were to meet with us in the safety of Candlekeep, my superiors would be much relieved. Please send a response ASAP. <sighs> Man. The inventory struggle is just so real, dude. And I don't shop enough. In, in and out of D&D. <laughs> My shopping habits are no good. Okay, that's one. Father, I have received your letter and I can assure you that the mercenaries led by Kelly Gray will no longer trouble our operations. I have dealt with them personally. Before dying, they were most forthcoming in their revelations. It is as you had surmised. They were agents of the Zentrum. I am also ready to tell you that I cannot attend the meetings at Candlekeep. Some problems have arisen with the chill of the black with the chill and the black talons. They have had trouble working with each other. I am needed to smooth over any dissension. I am sorry that I will not be at your side. Saravak. Who is just that's just a great name. That's a great name. I love I love the name Saravak. That's just that's just a very threatening guy. You know? You just don't want to mess with something some some being named Saravak. Eyes forward. Eyes forward. Okay. Eyes forward. I know you have like four cues. Do 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 do. Um I'm pretty sure we like already read those and I just didn't pick them up. <laughs> so now I go back to the Duke. Eyes forward. That was the definition of a fetch quest, truly. But only because we'd already uh, done it. Oh, 
We gotta go back to uh, Candle Keep. Is there one more? Yeah, there's. I will just lurk a bit. Uh, 5:30 a.m. here in Denmark. I just I'm just up early to fix a server remote in Australia. All right. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. No worries. No worries. Old. You must gather your party Thanks for stopping by. Eyes forward. Okay, we gotta go back to. Well, Faye, did you nail the measurements on your first try, though? That's legit. That's so great. Congratulations. Um, I'm gonna try Flaming Fist Castle before I go to the Duke's archives. Or whatever it's called. I'm calling it the Duke's archives, which it's not. But The Duke, the Duke, the, the, the duchy? Teach me how to duchy. We shall see. Faye, I am really excited for your costume. No doubt. We got, like, deposited out here. From where? Not here, I guess. It was probably this door here. Go up the stairs behind me. Nice. Okay, where are they? That was a very helpful VO line. Thank you. That does not look like stairs. But they have a guy. They have a guy placed here to just go this way. Good sir. Over here. Oh boy. Greetings, taxpayers. I am Duke Eltern, commander of the Flaming Fist. Like I said, greetings, taxpayers. I love that. I love that. Can we change out nerds for taxpayers as our as our community? <laughs> What's up, taxpayers? <laughs> I guess that's kind of presumptuous. <laughs> Greetings, taxpayers. Um, I'm glad to have you back. So what have you learned thus far? Uh, we know that any incriminating evidence will be found with Realtor, the overall leader of the Iron Throne in Boulder's Gate. He's currently supposed to be at Candlekeep with some sort of business. And there's only one thing to do. Travel to Candlekeep and learn what they're doing there. Whatever it is, it can't bode well for the fortunes of this city. Take this book. Without it, the Keeper of the Portal won't allow you entrance into the library. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay, so we had to do that to, like... The journey has come full circle. Duke Elton has asked that you travel back to Candlekeep, where you must spy upon the leaders of the Iron Throne. While it troubles you that such evil men now make use of the Great Library, and you wish the circumstances of your visit would be different, it will still be a pleasure to return to your former home. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go, dude. Keeper of the portal. Hold, travelers. Before you will be allowed entrance, you must donate a tome of great value to our libraries. Oh, hold up. Can I say this? Oh, okay. That's pretty wild. Because, like, I kind of want to... Can I, like, get around this? Because, like... Cause like usually these books are kind of sick, so if I can like sneak in there, okay. Never mind. It's not. It's not worth anything. The music is like popping off right now for reasons unbeknownst to me. So we're let me just try that out. God, it's like still going, going very strong. Okay. Let's just let's just let's just deal this work. Okay, because now I, now, I, now the video is going to be all quiet. Boy, oh boy. When you're a perfectionist, like, audio is not a good idea, let me tell you. Um, like, working with audio at all. 
Okay, we gotta talk to this guy. There's no reason to sneak in anyway, because the book is valueless. Here you go, bud. You have met the requirement to gain entry to our most holy library. It is fine to see the child of Gorion once again within these hallowed grounds. Please have your less civilized friends refrain from causing trouble. We are very strict to the letter of the law, as you well know, Kellic Gray. I love how, like, by making my name Kellic Gray, like, everybody calls me by my full name when they see me. It's like, oh, okay. I should have realized. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna go in... The main building? Do we do that? Central keep, right away. Yes. Oh, Minsky's sleepy though, so hang on. I know we gotta go straight to the... The, the, the main inn or whatever, but Minsky's kind of Minsk kind of needs a nap. Burden, but I'm knackered. <laughs> as as am I. I am also quite tired. Do, 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 do. I learned a word. I think it's troc trockle or something. Trockled is another way of saying like you're exhausted or wearied. What's up, Ethan Myers? Oh my gosh. I feel Ethan, I feel like you're a celebrity, man. <laughs> um, if anybody uh if if you aren't already, check out Liars for Hire on uh Instagram and probably everywhere. That's that's Liars with a Y, like the instrument, like the little harp, like the little cherub harp. Because Ethan makes these amazing uh uh ling linguistisms, I'm gonna call them where uh, he, like, comes up with different, um... Basically, uh, any kind of slang you need for any of the, like, races in your world, or for, like, Thieves Can't, or anything like that, or, like, clever creatures. Just, just any... He's just a source of amazing ideas in general. So it's very exciting to have him here. Uh, we are sleeping. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ethan, that's sweet. You're my hero, man. Have you played Boulder's Gate, Ethan? I feel like you might have. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Okay. Uh. I don't understand what he's even saying. I know. There's the rapscallion. Set on the little wisp now and make every bolt count. Like, is he going to shoot me? Oh, I see. Got it. I'm gonna play along. Where are they? Call them off, but I didn't do anything. Oh, come on. That was me playing into the joke, dude. Um, a merchant's guild is involved somehow in the Iron Throne. Do you know anything about them? Well, the Iron Throne. Why, well, they're no bigger than or more de dastardly mercantile consortium in all the Western realms. They've been barred from Cormir for their unsavory practices, but all it's done is make them nastier. You'd best steer clear of them as long as you still got life in you. Well, dude. Give us your royal suite. You close your eyes. Oh no! And visions of candle keep swim into view. <laughs> okay. As you pass through the gates of the citadel, there is a flash of memory, and you are a child of only a few seasons once more. At your side is Borion, gray-haired even all those years ago. How old must he have been to age so little in the time since? Dude was stressed. If he ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrant, the Keeper of the Tomes. An important meeting about you. Oh. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the Inner Keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion seldom raised his voice, though you did not care to listen to the discussions at your previous stops either. As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The, the dream sequences in this game are so legit. The keep suddenly swing open and Ulrunt storms out. Oh man. He glances at you for a moment but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers. 
Mark my words, that child will be the death of you. Turns out we were we were the death of Gorion. And Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your mm. gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone, but your own image remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Ooh. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, predictably unrested. That was a pretty spoopy scene. I gained a special ability, draw upon holy might. Let's go, dude. Cool. If I can be of service, I'll do it. Um, Ethan, I'm sorry that your childhood computer couldn't run it. The the only reason I have played this game is because my brother, my older brother, was desperate to play Diablo 2 or Diablo 1 even at the time. And my mom was like, that game is too mature for you. And it was. <laughs> and she she was like, I think she read in like the Washington Post or something about Boulder's Gate as like, as like a more um, sort of academic uh, kind of game, like a little more like, I don't know, a little less crass. But Boulder's Gate is also like super, you know, this this violent and bloody and we just spent a long time trying to figure out if there was anything wrong in the brothel. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how much it spared him from adult content. But it, it ended up getting me to play this game. Salutations, I am Catterly, a visitor of Candle Keep like yourselves. I probably shouldn't have read that. Uh, pardon me if I seem out of sorts, but the journey has been long and treacherous and my labors age me so. May I inquire as to your name? I am certain I've seen your face before, but I cannot fully place it. Kelly Gray is my name. If it is any business of yours. I see. Well, as it turns out, it is. I've met you previously. Your manner has turned out far different than I would have guessed, however. I was acquainted with your foster father, as were many others, and I visited him a number of times while you grew up. His death has been mourned across the coast, and he would do well to represent his spirit in a better fashion. Treating How people with respect would be a good know start. Who you are and know who your, your father, your, like... I mean, was that an outburst? I was just like, what? Like, why are you just like running up to me asking who I am? Um, I will apologize. Sure. I'm sorry. How are you acquainted with Gorion? Oh, he was a respected sage before I was old enough to lift the Tome of Universal Harmony. How oh, that old thing? Let alone understand a word. He knew a great deal about this world and much of the next as well. I heard rumors of his escapades with those who harp as well. Is that like referring to the harpers? Or just musicians? This is musicians. <laughs> but he never spoke such uh, such things to me. I get the feeling that he devoted most of his attentions to raising you and gave up what little whatever ribald life he lived in his youth. Is ribald the real word? Because there's a character named ribald in the second game. Anyways, I didn't I didn't know that was like a also like jeez dude lay on the guilt why don't you my no oh, my dead dad gave his whole life to me whoops uh, he would not have had it any other way though he seemed to have fared well enough for it uh, as well as can be expected though I learned much about myself. Sure. I've learned much about myself that perhaps was better left unknown. Gosh. I mean, go off, Catterly. Um, he's just telling me to go check out Candlekeep, and that's what we'll do. I played Diablo way too early, says Zan. I would play it with my older brother, and looking back, it was way back. <laughs> yeah, it was, pretty, it was pretty dark, but it did stick with me just to... I mean, literally, I think all I did in Diablo 1 was, like, cheat. Like, we had the cheat menu. And I just turned, I just turned on all the cheats. And then I got bored pretty quick. Because <laughs> I didn't understand that fairness is fun in games. Oh, Ul, Ul says, hey, is that Rebecca? Say hello. Oh, he says you have such a fantastic personality. What? Rebecca? <laughs> Are we talking about the same Rebecca? <laughs> you mean Rebecca? On my lap right Let me now. Pull this over. Look at when she's. Is that her eyeballs? Yeah. No. I thought. She's looking up for a second. Yeah, she's just sitting. You can't see her right now. No, you so. can't. <sighs> Hi, Ool. That's very nice of you to say. But is it my personality or is it Alma's? Something on your mind. Something on your mind. 
Color gray, my child, look at you. <laughs> Your face has gained me some new lines since the days when I tutored you. Um, no, it hasn't, dude. I'm half elven. I have not gained new lines. <laughs> Excuse you, sir. <laughs> I look the same. I haven't aged. Old? Uh, you speak true, but it's not your fault. You prepared me well as you could for what lay beyond, beyond these walls. I just pray that I'm prepared for what I shall find within them now that I've returned. Why? What is wrong here? Shall I tell the watchers? Uh... Yes, call the watchers, but first tell me if you've seen anything strange about the library today. Strange? Why, yes. That is just the word I would have used for that Covaris fellow. He was right here beside me, taking Wanda's prophecies from their place on the shelf and reading them. I could hear his voice, recognize the seer's words upon his quiet breath. But when I turned a steel glance at him from the corner of my eye, it was the strangest thing. His eyes were closed and he was reciting page after page as if from memory. He heard your footsteps, it seems, and wandered off. I was just returning from the prophecies to the rightful place here. Returning the prophecies. Uh, it might be wise to take a look. If this covariance is dangerous, though, I'm afraid I'm too old and bookish to be more than a hindrance. Forgive me, but I must leave you now. <laughs> Alright, dude. Go to sleep. Get 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 a, get a nap, dude. You look tired, Karen. Aw. Will says, Hi, Rebecca. I love both Rebecca and Alma. The life you give to Alma, but also that fantastic person behind Alma. This one? That's so nice of that's you. That's so nice. That's, that's very, very nice. nice. Well, is just like the nicest. And also makes amazing D&D terrain. Ethan, I if you're still in that. here. I watched some of that. I don't know. Ethan, are you are you, are you a terrain guy? Because Ul <laughs> makes this amazing. Like, check out Ul's, um YouTube channel. Because he makes these amazing, um, uh, what do you even call it? Terrain and, yeah. and castle walls and sewers and... Uh -huh. Yeah, just like, and he does these videos on how he does it, and they're very, very cool. Munch, why don't you, I wish you would just, we need a munch cam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the money. I'm gonna buy a munch cam. You got me. It kind it's of done. seems like she'll, it's inevitable, because she's I'm always here, gonna though. come, that's not true, she that's comes here when you're not here. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. she was sleeping with me in the bedroom. Yeah, she <laughs> loves, Rebecca, or munch, jeez, <laughs> munch knows when there's a spotlight, and she seeks it out, for she, sure. She really, truly does. We do need a munch cam. We'll put it on that computer. <laughs> also, my mom was similarly intimidated by Diablo. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Moms v. Diablo, 1996, 2008, maybe. Um, you were too young to play Diablo in 1996. That's true. It was probably a little bit later. Like 2000. You think maybe 2000, yeah. 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 Around then, though, jeez. No. Um, you were too little. That's the coolest thing about aw. Nice. Thank hey, that's that's great, Ethan. Uh, ooh, I don't know if you heard me mention it earlier, but Ethan runs uh uh, uh accounts on everything called Liars for Hire. I don't think he has a YouTube, but check out Liars for Hire on Instagram. Instagram's the main place I go, but you can find his stuff on Pinterest as well. Um He's got some uh, Ethan, you have some um one shots and stuff that you have up on oh DMs yeah guild, right? ethan also has a freaking campaign setting on dm's guild yeah, you do. i own it but i can't remember what it's called it's cool though it's like a dark fantasy thing with a or really special idea. magic system it's really fun uh you're buying a house yeah 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 you've missed out on the discord you I'm need to sorry. check the other discord <laughs> the discord is stressful it's a lot it's a lot to keep up on um the the D and D clubhouse yeah. Discord is stressful. Um, well, dip but, me in broth and call me stewed if it isn't Kelly Cray. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. I just wanted to read that aloud. Um, Ethan, super congrats to you and your wife. That's so exciting. Buying a house is crazy. Um, it looks amazing too. Chicago. I'll show you the screenshots. You outside of Chicago, inside of Chicago. I know you're in Illinois, right? Am I? Did I make that up? Uh, I I don't recall. Maybe I made that up. But I'm pretty sure you're in Chicago. Uh, yes, yes, I remember. But how have you been? Just chatting everybody up on my way to the final uh, reveal of the game. You'd be naked as a jaybird the moment someone turned their back on you. I remember the day that fellow bat black staff came floating in, and there you were, tearing up around the outer keep with Gorion hot on your trail. Took the cloak right off his back, you did, and made yourself the cutest little. Yes, 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 I remember. Could we 
Drop it, please. How have you been? Wait, wait, I remember it all now. There was Kelvin Blackstaff trying his hardest to look important while you ran through the stables with his cape tied around your waist. And such a lark, hey, Jessup. <laughs> hey, Jessup. I thought I'd catch my death from laughing, I did. <laughs> I like how the candle keep uh, librarians <laughs> are, are like southern. <laughs> you and me southern. both go riding with shaking like a leaf. You was so mad. As fun as this has been, I should really get going. <laughs> Nobody's sure to you, and then Kelvin mutters some words and catches you by the scrub of the neck. Some sort of spectral hand. He hauls you out and drops you right in front of him, grabbing a spilthy cape in the process. Everyone was scared they were, weren't they, Jessup? Sure enough, scared willless, witless. <laughs> it goes on and on. Yeah, <laughs> Kelvin busts out in the biggest laugh you ever heard. Everybody in the cave was laughing like Matt, except you, Kelly Gray. <laughs> you just stood there naked as the day you were born and wondering what the fuss was all about. Don't make I a tell fuss. you, those were the days. Um, <laughs> yes, I think I'll be going now. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, certainly, little one. Stop my animal now. I've got some paintings of you as a youngster. I'm sure your little friends would love to see. Remember the one, Kelly Gray, on the bearskin rug, Jessup? Surely do. In the buff, as usual. <laughs> Cute as a bug you were. Go play with your friends now. Go on. It, we're not making this up. It is written. That is how it's it written. It is written Southern. That is written that way. That is funny, man. <laughs> I love that if you refuse to be impolite, they just keep talking. <laughs> um, Faye, you sent it over, um, Discord. Since you're here, how, how do you want me to get you the recipe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, um, uh, Zan, do you mean you also signed stuff on a house today? Is that what you're saying? You also did that? Or, or did you do a reenactment of a Boulder Skates? <laughs> <laughs> in Southern. <laughs> in, in painful Southern uh, accent. Painful? Well, I mean, I guess I, I should speak for myself. Painful. <laughs> Painful. Painful. I love my southern accent. Don't you be talking about painful? Oh, let's go upstairs, right? There it is. Huh. Who needs the shiny boys? Shiny boys, pishaw. <laughs> pishaw. Mama, I'm gonna go out with the shiny boys. <laughs> you can't stop me, Mama. Uh. <laughs> Hello, Kelly Gray. It is good to see you here once again. A pity you could not have returned during a more restful time. Um, you always were a warrior, I'm sure, all as well. Perhaps you were right. Though that um, Caveras fellow still makes me nervous, I think he had the same effect on others as well. Shistal has been quite unlike his normal self. I should go. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks, bro. Zach, congratulations on you, also your house. Man, crazy. Everybody getting oh, houses. Buy a house. Are you going to buy me a house? <laughs> you. Huh? What happened? Oh, me? Are you, are you gonna, asking I said, me? Everybody's buying a house. I want to buy a house. Are you going to buy me a house? Um, everybody <laughs> uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> 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 so that I can buy Rebecca's, <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> you can uh, buy at the house. YouTube. Uh, we're a really good podcast. <laughs> and we would really like a house. <laughs> Aww, um, all the dragons in their first dungeons. Aww, so cute. That is cute. Viking themed office. Let's nice. go, Dan. Oh, here's Kilvaris, dude. I thought I might find you somewhere around here. Allow me to introduce myself. Um, yeah, please, please do. My name is Kilvaris. I used to work for your father, running messages to his Harper friends in Waterdeep. Before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you should evil ever befall him. Will you take it? Do you think you killed your dad? I didn't kill my dad. You don't really seem like you believe that. What even befell him, Colbaris? You were there, you saw it all. A woman, an armored figure, two ogres wielding clubs, and two archers, and now just everybody's southern. Uh, but Garion's pretty <laughs> petty magic was of little use against them, was it not? And you, you fled with your tail between your legs, hiding amidst the trees until dawn broke. And now it comes full circle, doesn't it? The Iron Throne's so close you can almost touch them and wreak your revenge for that night. Uh, where were you if you know so much? 
If you be so void of trust, I'm surprised you made it this far. It is a little matter. Go seek your vengeance through doom. I'll wash my hands of it. Did he give me the ring, though? Unclear. Uh, give me the ring, dude. Yeah, it did. Give me the ring. He just disappeared. He went upstairs. I want the ring. But that guy was suspicious. Suspicy. Oh well. We're not we're not loading saves. We're gonna beat the game. Even though I want the ring, shall I load a save? You just said we're not letting you save. I know, but I do want to find out rules. what the ring was. You're the worst shiny boy. Breaking rules. Harsh. <laughs> Eyes forward. Okay, wait, he was up here. Very Give me the dang ring, Covarus, you freaking mule. <laughs> um, the leaders of the Iron Throne are here. In the keep even as we speak. They're at their weakest and most unpredicted. If you ever hope to kill them, now is the time. Go in there and turn away to you. Okay. So now he gave me Covaris's ring of protection plus one. Mm. Okay, we're metagaming just like a little bit, you know? You know what I'm saying? I thought that was your dad's ring. Uh, yeah. This ring and, and several of its type were originally crafted to protect the sons of King Caster de Wes, who uttered the enchantment is unknown. History records that the rings remained within that family for at least 13 generations, though they were all apparently lost within the space of one. Enmity between the king and the family of the creator may be to blame. Not usable by wizard slayer. So this is what? Armor class plus one saving throw. What we got? We got armor class saving throws. And extra divine spell. Let's give it to Dinah here. Although she has... That's, again, is our Scorcher. And this one gives her another thing. So let's give it to Jihira, because she doesn't have any rings on. Clean. Good. Good game, everybody. <laughs> nice safes coming, boys. Let's do it. Um which Oh, no worries, Faye. The, the 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 chat moves fast. Do you want to just send it to me in our um in our chat? Yeah. Just okay. do that. You or can just send it to me. Yeah, you can send it to me directly. We live together. Or you can send it to her directly, yeah. Matter, yeah. We live together? We live together. No, we don't. Unfortunately. <laughs> Sounds like he should have kept the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it did go Ryan any good. Uh, yeah. By the lady's grace, be done. Shistol. This guy was mentioned in a conversation. I can't remember what the context was. Nope. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Uh, do you not recognize me? It is Kenneth Gray. <laughs> the one who was naked on the bare skin. Hey, do you remember <laughs> me being naked everywhere? Um, my apologies. The trusty journeys have been com comfortable. The cloak Thank you, can be cold this time this year. If you'll excuse me, I should go. How did you know that I had come to Cloakwood? I uh, have relatives in the region. Yes, they must have seen you and sent a note on your progress. Well, Shistel, you never mentioned any family before. We are strange. You don't see each other often. <laughs> There's no need to mention it. I really should be going now. There are things to do. Thank you for lying to me, Shistel. You're not the same man I knew. Are you? Is he a changeling? Is he a changeling? What do you think, Rebecca? He is. Probably. You do? Well, it'll leave me be. I tire of this game. Take your question and go away, monkey. Oh. That is not weird thing to say. That is a. Do you think he says that regardless of uh, what you are? And yes. You happen to be a a, a drow. A yeah. Drow. I'm not. I'm not a drow. I'm a half elf. Half -elf? You can't play as a drow in this game. You had a hair Because they were at this point in in D and D history, they were evil. Like. Got it. Period. That's Except not, for Drist. Still not kosher. Uh. Uh. I mean, I think he's doing that because he's not uh, not a human or not a bipedal creature. Mm -hmm. Or I don't I don't know, so he's calling me that as like an insult to like Homo sapiens. Uh, for starters, who are you really? I am your death. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 kill you now. Yes, what do you turn into? We're gonna Greater doppelganger. Right We're gonna cancel him right now. Cancel you. <laughs> um. I mean, he's 
not, so he's not a changeling. He's doppelganger. He's a doppelganger. A doppelgangerine. A gangled apple. A uh, gangled Pringle. Gingle Pringle? A Stingle Mingle. Not anymore? None of those are doing it for you? <laughs> hey, can everybody just kill, please? Kill! Who wants some? I love her obsession with... Let's, uh... I feel like if I cast Silence, it's just gonna... Hurt everyone? It silence like everybody, yeah. Huh? I said, when has that happened before? Yeah. Oh, never. Never. That doesn't happen. It's in the future. <laughs> this is Doom. Are there more now? Are they like... No, he used, um... Steelers. What's that freaking called? Mirror image. Mirror image, yeah. Which I think you can cast, which is still in 5e. I'm casting Doom. These people are just chilling. This is Melf's, Melf's acid arrow. You gotta watch closely. I'm watching. Didn't even say it. It didn't even show up for me. <laughs> oh, he's scared. Yeah. Nice job. Just send that thing back to the realm it came from. By the lady's grace, it'll be done. That's right. I wonder how many more of these... I wonder if there's like two old old geezers downstairs, those two southerners, if they were also doppelgangies. <laughs> and that's why... Why would they share such intimate details? Of oh, the that's true. They didn't know me. Thing. They didn't know me pretty well. But it's like, how many people have been replaced? This is some... Um, scroll stuff. Scroll invasion stuff. I guess we'll go up the stairs. Going upstairs. Plato or Piato. <laughs> this is just Plato. Good to see you. I trust you are well. Eh, as well as can be expected, Piato. How have you been? Oh, I pine for the days when you and Gloria and Ryan still called Candlekeep home. You brought a bit of energy to these walls. I shall have to speak with you later at length, but for now you must rest. Gloria's room is the third on the south corridor, just as it was. I think there are a few things for you two there as well. <laughs> We shall see you later. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What were you doing? <laughs> old man. That was the old man. That was the old man. That was that was the very famous old man voice. <laughs> Which isn't that thing back to the realm it came from? No, all of these people remember you. He said your I, mind. Shisto was the only one who was like, "Who are you?" What did he say? Ba is this the right one? Yeah. Uh, what did he say? South. What did he say? Yeah, go Ryan's chamber. Where did it say that? Right there. Oh yeah, but his old room is the third on the, the south corridor, so not here. As it is. So. A waste of my time. That's what the original <laughs> voice says. <laughs> south corridor. Munch is also doing a voice. The third on the south. What does that even mean? Okay, so maybe it's this one? <laughs> yeah, there was like a little bit of Irish and then it just like also did a lot, a lot of other stuff. You? <laughs> no, what you <laughs> What I did? <laughs> <laughs> you had a little bit of the lilting. Oh yeah, yeah. there was a lot of a lot of going on. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on. You know what? In, he's from Candlekeep. That is the official Candlekeep. That's the Candlekeep that dialect, yeah. It's the dialect for Candlekeep. It's true. I mean, theoretically, Theron is a, you know, it's a fantasy location, so the accents do not have to be anything from this world. So I think... I know. I think, He's yeah. preaching to the choir. <laughs> <laughs> Although Dinah here just, like, dive-bombing in. I'm just going to loot everything. Is that sound okay? You can only do um, Romanian and Southern so many times. It's true. It's true. You got to you gotta try out other stuff. Hey man, could you just get lost so I can loot this? Thank you. Hi, Munch. Well, 
Bye. Price. Bye. Do you want to be on mom's lap? There's some money in there. Money. Money. We like money. This is also locked. But like, what's going on here? You know. Candle speak. Yes, Ethan. Correct. That is. Ooh. An unidentified cloak, though, dude. Is it cursed? Probably. Everything in this game's cursed. Cloak of protection plus one. Nope. Not That's cursed. going on. Yeah, I probably should go on down here. In fairness. Couple am. Oh, it doesn't show up. That's too bad. Bummer. Tis. Price. <laughs> Candle speak. It is candle speak. I really like that. <laughs> okay, so this this looks like a northern corridor. Oh no, this is like isn't this like north south? I'm confused. Maybe there's another. I don't have floor. any orientation. Let me check the journal entry. Ryan's chambers. Is that like a candle compass though? No, this is just the map. Okay. Um. Unclear. I would think down would be south. <laughs> Cursed with additional AC. <laughs> yeah, this I is definitely south. south. Yeah, so yeah, third, so wouldn't that be the third from the, no? It's that one or that one, which has I already tried this one, so maybe let's try this one. Dining here, flying around. I can be right. Oh, what is this? Hello? <laughs> The gray. <laughs> if you're reading this, I can't do it anymore. I don't know what I did. I <laughs> it means I met an untimely death. Just try to do an Irish and British accent. I think you're somewhere in between them. I would tell you not to grieve me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. <laughs> There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might have told you before. However, if my death came too soon, then I would have never been given the chance. First off, I am not your biological father. For that distinction lies with an entity known as Baal. The Baal that I speak of is the one you know as a divinity. Wow. In this crisis known as the Time of Troubles, <laughs> when the gods walked Faerun, Baal was forced into a mortal shell. He was somehow forewarned. Ooh, scroll. <laughs> sorry, it's <sorry. laughs> here, here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt The before. death that awaited him during this time. For some reason unknown to me, he sought out women of every race to force himself upon them. Okay. So he's like, um, what's that? He's like Zeus, he's like, no, right? No, no, no. Yeah, Zeus, but also from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, uh, one Ego. Of, one of these women. And as you know, she died in childbirth. I had been her friend. And on occasion... Lover. Okay, go right I felt obligated to raise you as my own. You could just leave that out, go I Ryan. have always thought of you as my child. And I hope you still think of me as your father. Oh my god. Your papa. <laughs> <laughs> you are a special child. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. If you make use of our extensive library, you will find that in our founder... Alondo. Alondo has many prophecies concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. There are many who will want to use you for their own purposes. One, a man who calls himself Seravok, is the worst danger. He has <laughs> studied here at Candlekeep and thus knows a great deal about your history and who you are. I think my favorite thing about Candlespeak is the, the strange emphasis in certain moments. Just <laughs> That totally hits different. Uh, <laughs> that, that very important reveal of this game hits different in Candlespeak, for sure. For sure. Welcome, guys. <laughs> so yeah, we're a child of we're a child of. I think it's I I don't I think they pronounce it Bale in this Bale, game, not ball. but I think it's Ball like I thought it was IRL because isn't Ball like a real myth? I thought Ball was the myth of like I thought Ball was a yeah. Thing. I don't. I think it might be called Bale, but I. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I think it, that also could be just what I came up with as a little kid playing this game. It literally could be that. Sure. Um. Did I pick it up? No. Um. Let's start my club. I don't need my club. <laughs> nice. So you are a half god. Yeah. A demi god. I'm a demi god, demi -god. baby. <laughs> I know. Child, uh, the spawn of Baal, dude. Untimely, um, 
ripped from your mother's womb. Oh, true. I mean, not true, but good, good reference. I like how nobody, I guess nobody else read that. What's up, Gate Warden? You there! Stop and surrender yourself! You are accused of murdering the men Brutus, Kostak, Thaldorn, Tenvich, and Rialtar Anchev. If you give yourself up now, you will be assured of a fair trial. Those are some serious names. Yeah, well, they're big bads. Rialtar is like the leader of the Iron ah. Throne. Um, Ethan says that many of the demons in D&D are named after real-world mythological demons. So is it Baal? Is that, that's the I think the real one is Baal, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I already read it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need to. Uh, but you have to speak, and Candle can speak too. Oh, I should have. I'm sorry. You, there's more time. You'll have more oh, time. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to do it. Hey, Nicole, that makes sense because he's having babies with all these women. So, Oof. still a fertility god. Yeah. Even in this one. Unpleasant. I didn't murder anyone. I'm not surrendering to the likes of you. Don't let this happen, <laughs> Kellogg Gray. If you resist, I'll be forced <laughs> to use lethal force. <laughs> Could you use some work? Uh, yeah, you'll have to give me some. We'll have to do some coaching. <laughs> uh, okay. Whatever. Bring it on. Sad to me to just come to this. Let's go, motherfucker! I don't speak at all. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I was too busy getting killed. I died. I insta died. You or. Oh, man. The main character insta died? Yeah. Holy moly. Holy mole. Did I get my. Father received your letter. Realtar. No, that's not it. Um, there it is. Oh, okay, great, yep. Done, okay, cool. So I did quick save before going upstairs. Man, that guy just wrecked my day, dude. Can I really not survive this hit? Alright, I guess I have to go to trial. This is called railroading. <laughs> I just want to point that out. Okay. All those that children will soon lose their father. Prosody that flickers like a candle in the wind. What's prosody mean? Uh, it's like a cadence. It's like musical. Ah, that's you're right, Ethan. That is pro, pro, speak. Right, yeah, it's like prose. That is. It's like that an extension of prose. Speak. Yeah. <laughs> candle speak. <laughs> it flickers oh, like a candle yeah. in the wind. And <laughs> 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 <It> has no. <laughs> yeah, it's a pan global <laughs> accent is what that is. Um, all right, what's up, dude? So, Kellogg Gray, you have sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a place that lasted for centuries. I spit on you and all your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Brunos Kostak and Rieltar Anchev. That's better. But that's pretty good, right? Pretty good. I feel like that's pretty. I feel like that was pretty solid. <laughs> um, like I even started out Irish and went feel? somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, was that was that close enough, guys? Um, and gals and pals. But I have done nothing wrong. Why have you accused me of such a thing? Why have I accused you? Do you want to show me how it's done? <laughs> Why have I accused you? You were seen playing the murder scene. Colveris found the identifying ring of shadow thief assassin in your personal effects. And gold melted in arm. I feel that is strong enough proof to accuse you. <laughs> Man, okay. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm seeing where I'm slipping up. <laughs> From everything we have seen and found... It is not hard to figure <laughs> what your purpose was. From what I have been told, you have been trying to place all your misfortune on the Sword Coast, squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. Mm. I assume you and your fathers are assassins in the employ of Am. 
Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before an Omnian invasion. It matters little. You and your friends are to be sent to Boulder's Gate, where an appropriate punishment will be administered. That was perfect. That was good? Bravo. Okay, I think I... Ah, yeah, we got it. We got it, everybody. You got it. You got it. <laughs> 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 Just like a bit of it's, it's about the, it's about the, the cadence for sure. It there's there's cadence. a rhythm to it. Yeah, <laughs> we're not in candle keep anymore. Now we're, we're in Boulder's Gate. Okay, I think so. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, no, we're I still in candle keep. We're still in candle keep. You you if you're if we're if you're good careful with this, I'm not doing. This. <laughs> Uh, oh God! One, I am sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances. I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Ulrant will most likely send oh, thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There, thou wouldst receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Brian would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. Oh, tis a favor to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but don't disturb them. Monsters, I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Uh, do you know anyone by the name of Caveras? I know of no one named Caveras, <laughs> but Caveras is the reverse of Serava. Oh hey, young shit! Man, the My dude the Iron figured out the, the riddle game. of the guy's name without reading it on paper. I know not where he was gone. <laughs> Thanks, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he created Discord. Yeah, well, I mean, I gotta credit this guy. Huh? Um, I didn't get it. Is, is, is is from it what he is saying, it? creating Discord uh, somewhere. I was distracted by your accent, but I'm confident that's what it meant. Uh, in the scramble of the catacombs, there are many guardians and traps. And perhaps whoever planned these murders, however dangerous. <laughs> my, my, my candle speak slipped in. Uh, the catacombs may be. They're a safer <laughs> alternative. It's a, it's a so, oh, once you get into it, man, it's like, it's like when you travel abroad, you come back and you got like kind of an accent. So <laughs> candle speak does to one. Okay, so this guy's breaking this out. Yeah. I'm totally losing the plot. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. Not gonna the plot when you speak candlestick. Let's go. Let's go yeah. to the secret library. Are, we're, wearing, we're wearing we're wearing Saravox freaking ring though, dude. Should I not be wearing that? Or we're not wearing it. Here it is, right? Is it Saravox? Saravox. Coveras. Saravox. Oh, we back to Coveras. We saw him. We, we just did. talked to him. Oh fuck. I mean, I took the ring. Is it cursed? It. We identified it. I'm gonna take it off. We're not fucking with that. It might be too late, but we'll, we'll take it off. I'll do it. That's the ring I save scum for. God damn it! All right, we're going in. Wait, should I hold up? Can I go back? Is there anything here, dude? Again, is our scorcher scroll? This is a light do lightning bolt truly the worst spell in the game in this game in particular okay so my identify scrolls what else do I need to get rid of just take my freaking this is a, this is a moon bar gem I don't need that monster 72 sounds sick <laughs> oh to Luke oh it's a minor globe of vulnerability which is pretty sweet. Some identify scrolls and a thingy. Inventory management, the game. Cool. Butt kicking for goodness. In linguistics term, adapting features, ergo, prosody, accent, etc., of your fellow speaker is called accommodation. I thought it was going to be like a fancier word, <laughs> but it was just accommodation. In linguistics terms. So that's the linguistic term for like adopting like the prosody. Interesting. By the lady's grace. You be done. Kicking for goodness. Can I say that in my long time? Yeah, I think so. Por que no? 
how the sausage get made, gets made. That's fine. Boop, boop, boop. Butt kicking. Hey, your sketch mock up in Discord is rad. It's really cool, Faye. It's really, really cool. Dude, what is with all these six spells? We got Dimension Door up there? Oh, no, that's not. Okay, I thought it was Dimension Door. I was like, what is going on? I don't even know how useful Dimension Door would be. I guess you could get out of trouble. Butt kicking. For goodness. And ooh, that dragon? Man, y'all are. Cool. Shadow Door. Uh oh yeah, it is Dimension Door. It's kind of invisibility though. But kicking. Okay, look at all these freaking scrolls. I need a scroll case. I can't learn any of these. Why not? Because she already knows them probably. Mm. Yeah. So what are you gonna do with them? Um, Sell them? Yeah, well, I'm just throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, I don't really need money. I want like an adventurer to come up behind your crew, being like, "Oh my god, I found all these spell scrolls." <laughs> Russell's like coming up behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, a little plan, just like, like, "Oh my god." <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what researchers named the phenomenon. Not as fun sounding as other linguistic phenomena. Thank you. I'm hoping I'll have some actual paper models pictures soon. That's what I'm doing currently. That's so very cool, cool Faye. Should not have wasted a spell slot on identifying that. That was a little silly of me. But whatever, man. Ice cream or hot chocolate? Ooh. I mean, ice cream. Well, what will it be? If I can be of service, I'll do it. Yeah. I think linguistics is a very cool study. I find it very fascinating. It does get pretty technical for my brain. Quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so does everything, though. <laughs> Do anything long enough and it becomes very complicated. Very complicated. Lydia, oh, what? Uh, we stole her book. It is useless oh, no. to resist. Uh, Whoa. Wrecked. That was so fast. Pont. Pont and wrecked. They took a lot of damage, though, too. Yeah, we, I mean. We're kind of awesome, also. It's the ice cream be. cake was amazing, Faye. Yo. It was so good. It God. disappeared. We ate it it's so fast, man. It's gone. Yeah, it just vanished. Yeah. I don't even know if we had it or not because it we ate it so freaking fast. We have it. Oh, okay. traps. Okay, let's not do. Let's not do this. Let's. Emolin, why don't you do your freaking job and detect traps? Emolin. Hmm. Did you just say Emoen? No, Emoen. Emoen. <laughs> I've got a friend whose name is Emoen. <laughs> this is why you send the rogue, because if they fail to detect the trap, then they're the one who deserves to take the damage. This is my this is my thinking. Thank you. Like, get your shit together, Emoen. Like, identify the trap! Okay. Yeah, we're taking this book. Even if we're encumbered. Evil round every corner. Careful not to step in any. Um, and now I need to identify all this stuff, man. Man's got some you probably can't use these identify scrolls. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Butt kicking for goodness. Um, give these to her, and I don't know. Pass this to somebody. Okay, 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 okay. Um, oh, Batalisa's passport. Fire resistance. See here, it doesn't have any rings. Oh, that's very cold. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> the cold is coming out of your mouth, like the, the um, steam or whatever. <laughs> What's it called? Like fog, mm -hmm. smoke. I don't know how I feel about this flavor. I like it a lot. So. 
Let's get a permanent wisdom bonus. It's just kind of weird. Like, look at my freaking wisdom score, man. Okay. So we don't get any ability score increases in this game, basically, ever. All right, I forgot about traps. What you want? I'm gone. Butt kicking. <laughs> Uncle. I can put it away. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Choose your friends wisely. Not all are as trustworthy as these commitments. Oh, Whoa. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Come along now. Well, battle to be. If I can be eyes forward. The hell is that? It's a ghast. Can I turn on dead on this boy? I'm a ghast. It's not working. Is a ghast not undead? Well, Whatever. Let's holy might this mofo. He does have like a huge gaggle. There are so many of them. Yeah, they give you six. You get you. There's there's tons of recruitable party members, but you can only have six total. And a lot of them are kind of lumped. Like Minsk and Dinah here are like a couple. It's so Arjahira and Khalid. So like, if you get rid of one of them, you have to get rid of the other one. So it's kind of hard to. Yeah, my turn undead didn't do anything to it though, even though it is undead. I I thought it was undead. Was my oh so sick? I wonder how long unholy might lasts because I have twelve freaking strength now, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're done. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's very cold. There's another one. Wow. Okay. Kablam! Oof. If I can be a sad, I'll do it. Yeah. So that was magic missile. Right. Best spell ever. I really think it is a shame that magic missile I mean it's a shame but also good that you can have magic missile immediately. Because few spells like make me as happy as magic missile. Why does magic missile make you so happy? It you can't miss with it. It's an auto hit. Okay. It doesn't do that much damage, but it, but at early levels it does loads. Like it's like a surefire kill. Hey Dinah here, have you considered not having the boots of speed I gave you? forward. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Up. Yeah, you take that one. <laughs> Alright, turn undead and do something with it. Do I have to like stand still while I'm turning him dead? I, I don't understand. It makes cool sound though. Uh, she's diseased. Right? Which I don't think I have a cure disease thing right now. Oh, she's nauseated. Yeah, isn't that good? Okay, so she's just nauseated. Which, like, who wouldn't be? Oh, what's up? <laughs> hey, man. We're investigating some some issues we're having. Glam! Glam! Well, can, could you get magic missile as a cantrip before? Well, because I know in, in 5e it's not. It's only ever a spell. It's like a first level spell. Yeah. It'll be. Ethan says, ran a D and D sesh for some super mutual clubhouse friends tonight. First of a new campaign. Basic premise: people from a space western setting crash land on an island overrun by dragons, like Jurassic Park. <laughs> Very cool. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Um. Oh, I used Bless, or I used um, that does just Bless feel on like accident. All Chris Pratt's movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Right. 
Oh my god. Projection from Fold. See, you can do it. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I guess dragons are a good solve for like the classic like guns v bows and arrows and stuff. Like failure of like it's not exactly it, it's kind of confusing when you're like yeah, but in this world, guys with katanas can fight people with guns. I'm, like, I'm, I'm done. done. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Our recruiter's cracking. It's delicious. Okay. It's good ice cream, but I want to talk. <laughs> Let's get, um, cure disease, I guess. We have cure disease, right? Um, there it is. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Holy Smite, but it's okay, I'll just be here for, for a second. Sleepy, sleepy, oh man. Down here, could you not? Could you not? I know I told you to, but like, don't. Okay. Yeah, she still has these, okay. I can be of service. Did you, oh no, we didn't get our, our rest in. Nice. It'll be. Oh no, she's fine now. Okay, well, whatever. I can be of service. By the lady's grace. Two characters from space are from space, and two characters are indigenous. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's fun. Ooh. All the guests. What? All the guests. I should have kept Holy Smite, but whatever. Let's um. So this is what you can do, right? I can fireball the back side of the room here. So that it doesn't hit the squad. If she gets into position, but it's already too late. I think it's just gonna miss everybody now. Did they cancel her fucking spell? What is the point of anything? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Alright. All right, look at all these bodies. What am I missing? Um, are those golden donuts loot you can recover? Yeah, they're uh, they're like rings. So it's like I can get the you can get you can collect like crust rings and jewels and and sell them. But I've gotten to the point where I have just like an insane amount of money. <laughs> so. So I, I value the inventory space more than like money on the ground, basically. <laughs> um, but I was gonna pick something up. Don't they say that like D and D is a game of resource, like resource management? Literally, yeah. Um, scroll wand, oh fire, fireball. It's a fireball wand, and again, it's our scorcher. That's pretty cool. I love again as a card. That's like the best. Spell. I love that spell. Makes me happy. A Warhammer plus one, which I already have, correct? Yeah. Lame. I don't think anybody else is like a Warhammer person. I mean, they love the the game, but. Pies forward. Um. Yeah, you were right. I was in a homebrew game some years ago with a sorcerer that had fireballed and magic missiles and cantrip, but you're right. It only fireballed is allowed. Cool, cool, cool. But still. You can get you can get magic missile level one and it kills, and then at later levels you just get more magic missiles. So it like still scales like pretty well, and it's fun because it never misses. So you're just like kablam, free damage, like no check required. I mean, obviously there's counter spell, and I think there's like some things that there's like a specific um, in this game there's a mage shield that blocks magic missiles. Like it says that in the description of that. It's like magic missile can't hit you. So, I don't know if there's one in 5e. I assume there probably is. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna march right ahead and just assume there's not gonna be any traps. There's gonna be traps. There's no... There's no shot. There's not traps. There's no shot. Yo! Okay. <laughs> uh, I did it! <laughs> you, fall, you found them! We didn't get hit by the traps! Amazing.
That's cool that you split them up, Ethan. Like, to do two from space and two from the planet. Are they gonna, like, rebuild a spaceship? Can you share? I mean, obviously, like, don't share anything too revealing, because they could, like... <laughs> they could watch this whole stream <laughs> and find this one moment. <laughs> and get it spoiled. If I can be of Sarah Price. But that feels like what I would want to do if I were playing a game, is I'd be like, how do I rebuild my spaceship with the, you know, with dragon scales. With dragon heartstrings. And like, I don't know, whatever a dragon uses for fire as like the source of fuel or whatever. Wow, we hit a fucking, we hit another trap. Yep, this way. <sighs> Get out of this hell hole. Get me out of this hell. All right, Emon, go. Go, Emon. Go, Emon. Boy, that doesn't work. It doesn't work in that rhythm. Huh? Nothing. My rhythm? No. No, your rhythm. <laughs> Anything goes. Do, do, do. Checking for the. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Ooh. Don't disturb the catacombs, as they say. Doot, doot, doot. Yep. Just, just I'm checking checking around for some trappy poos. What's it gonna be? There's no way. I think she dies here. It's locked. Oh, wait. I wasn't checking for traps. Hello. Oh, well. I have to toggle There's that no on. <laughs> I don't. I will never find that not funny. Get me out of this hell. It's also like a thing I find myself saying, like while I'm working, is I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing in the sarcophagus. Are we serious? Okay. 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 All right, DM. If you say so. Killing me. Serivaka. Serivaka. Door. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> That's who we're after. Oh fucking god damn it. Whoa. That's lightning ball. See how it bounces and kills you? Yeah. Kills everybody. Who did it kill? Nobody. It just wrecks. It just, there's still a trap there? Stop getting hit by it! Run! <laughs> Oh my god, I got hit again! Oh my gosh. Okay, Emoin, do your job! I do love like Witch Bolt, because Witch Bolt, once you land it, it just gets you as long as you don't like do a different spell. Jesus. Like, like, don't traps landed. usually break? God damn. <laughs> I like that Kellic size when I sigh. This way. Kill it! <laughs> Dina here almost died right here. That doesn't work. I'll, do it. I'll click this button as many times as I need to, Boulder Gate. Yeah, it's very channel. Web. Yeah, which bolt is fun. That's what lightning Yeah, which bolt is my fave. Yeah, it's super cool. Man, and in BG3, it looks so good, man. Like, it's such a good look. But Lightning Bolt looks sick in this game, actually. Like, that's no, a pretty good Lightning Bolt. Really good. Looks better than Fireball. Yeah, I agree. I agree. By the lady's grace. Oops, I accidentally started up Icewind Dale. Now I'm at, <laughs> no, I'm at work, but I'm watching your stream and play a game. Well, I don't care. They can't fire me twice. <laughs> Whoops! Just happened to be playing Icewind Dale! I'm gone. Right. I can't. I'm gone. Get me out of this hell. We, we caught a trap before it killed everybody. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine us finding a you trap. You did it. It was all me. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, no. We're going to death spider. Hey, spiders. Oh, no. Oh, God. Gross. Use Misty Step. <laughs> Are we poisoned? Yeah. Can I still Minsk is poisoned because it goes, Unce. <laughs> and otherwise, Minsk takes no damage because his freaking AC is so high. She leveled up, dude. Um, nothing for that, so let's go find traps, baby. Oh, no. Okay, if we're going over 100, then I feel like we should go back to open locks. 
I used to always play a rogue in this game. Rowan leveled up? Yeah. Um, I'm not in combat. Thank you. I used to always play a rogue, and I would stress about which skill to level up. Because I wanted to pick pockets. And I wanted to... Um... Pick locks. And I wanted to find traps. And I want... Moving silently is kind of... What was that? It's a fireball trap. Oh, that's a good one. That's... I never get to see fireball that big. Yeah, yeah. That was a Does good one. Does it always one. look like that? It might look different at different levels. That was great. Is there another one? God, that fucking wrecked Minsk's day. Jahira, can you... Can you just... Can you deal with him? Can you deal with, with Minsk, please? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna be, you'll be right back. You're coming back, right? <laughs> Never! Um, ooh. One second. One second, everybody. Just one second. What? <laughs> Did we schedule the episode? No. Did someone ask something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone ask about it? No, I just, I just, it just made me think of it. And I, I had forgotten to schedule it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's out now. It's out. Episode's really. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Look, I get, I do a lot. I can be a service. I'll do a pies forward. They wish me as well as I can. Okay, Emoin, fix this trap for us. And now, open this thing. It's locked. Emoin. Unlock it. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Dude, we're getting some good loot, man. Some get me out of this hellhole loot. You know what I'm saying? These are the catacombs under candle keep. The candle combs? The cattle keep? The cat cat keep? Sometimes you look for something and there's nothing. You know what I mean? It's just like, it just happens to me. Um, fireball and stuff. Kabloosh, kablamph. Identify with the spell. Spirit shield plus two, dude! Okay, that's sick. That's really good. That's going to... Oh, can I not use it? Oh, inventory full. Rip. Stack these, put them up there. Is there anything else stack in here? God, I should use these potions. This is what easy difficulty does, is you just don't use any potions or spell scrolls, because you're like, whatever. <laughs> but I'm here for the story. And the exploration. I like the exploration, too. Um, give me, give me this. Give me, give it to me. Kablamp. Oh. Do the other, oh, because I've got protection, so I can't stack the protection. Nope. Can Minsk wear it? Nope. Can anybody wear this freaking cloak, dude? But it's like better, right? Yeah, I think so. So that's minus three. This is minus two. Yeah. So let's, let's just switch it out. Okay. Candle combs and cattle keep. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Man, so I, I, in order to like play some of the Venture Forth music earlier and then it glitched out, <laughs> I, I, uh, I brought the, uh, our hard drive, like our mega hard drive over to just like play it from the hard drive, which might be why I messed up, but that means the, the hard drive is just like underneath my desk right now and I keep kicking it. <laughs> it's like, oh, just all of our files on there. No big deal. Um, well, we'll survive. Eyes forward. Yo, the spiders are with it. Is there anything else in there? Oh, there's a book. Let's identify the book. I did call. Strength raised by one point permanently. What if... 
I just used all these on myself. You know, what if? What if? Just imagine if that happened. If I just like, happened to use all these on myself. Like, what if I just did that? It was like, you know, like, who cares? Like, right now, like, I just, what if I just used it on myself and I just also got... What? Well, I do you know, it could happen. Wait, my strength was even lower than I thought it was? It's only 11 now? Crazy. Okay, I'm actually really glad I used it on myself, because, like, man... I want to be good at everything. Give me all it. Okay, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of this hell hole? Oh, it's over here. We were just exploring for funsies. <laughs> the backup files are just a lark, really. They're just a little. They're just a little fun. This is like a, you know. Get me out of this hell hole. I'm trying to get out of this hellhole, and then I will feel so much better. You must gather your party before venturing forth. What do you need? What do you need? Drepin? Poisoned Nessa, have you? And to think I would have left this keep with the likes of you. Rawr, fleshling. Okay, so what was the deal? Were they are always were they always changelings? At the candle and the keep? They don't remember. Doppelgangers. Nice job, fam. Smashed him. Right. Destroyed. Because I'm trying to, like, figure out what the deal is. Like, are you guys all... I ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, this is a guy. Uh... Okay, I mean, this guy... <gasps> Did it just kill? It did. Holy crap, it just killed Arcanus. Oops. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I wasn't gonna recruit that guy. Oh no, that's Arcanus. Who is this? Well, by the lady's grace. We cannot stop triggering traps, guys. <laughs> Not doable. Yep. I don't have the patience to, to go detect the traps every which way. Look at this freaking place. Okay. By the lady's grace. Look at this hell hole. That's the best part about that file. Is the little he does a little like you you like almost a yulation <laughs> an ascending yulation. Are you detecting traps? Thank you. I I gotta explore. Are you coming? You coming to me, boss? What's up, pal? Spy, traitor, fight for the rats, will you? Yeah. The rats are my bros. Fickles the wind, you are. Fickles the wind. We have a name for your type. Rat bastards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't understand. Why are they, like, getting mad at me for being tra a traitor, and then they turn out to be doppelgangers? I'm so confused. Quite confusing. Like, were they always doppelgangers? Am I a doppelganger? Uh oh. I'm the son of a god. I'm the son of a god. Ah, oh, shit. I caused the trap to be sprung. Um, Melf Sassadero, please. Is this doing anything? Is this doing it for you guys? He did! Look at that! Look at that! He did it! Okay. Stirred some undead. Yeah, get fucked. Get fucked, skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> this guy must be a little higher level. Huh? What? How does the spooky skeleton sound go? The spooky skeleton. I don't know. Maybe. What song? What are you talking about? Look at them! Look at them run! This is the theme. That's <laughs> true. They do got skeletons. Look at them. They're not turned. Anymore. They're not dying, but they are skaked. Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fight this guy by myself, though. I just like chasing the skeletons across the room. 
This is the theme for Spirit Halloween. Oh man, it's not working. Higher level going then. Why like, are these just like my personal tormentors? They're accusing me of so many things. I don't think that one fey. I don't know. Is that how it goes? Huh? That's no, no. We're t Rebecca, I'm obsessed with this guy named... Oh, she, she's gonna die one second. <laughs> Nick Lutzko is his name? Stop shooting her with arrows! Stop it! Get feared, or whatever. It's not working. Do it again. I don't understand how this works. <laughs> Ah, oh, she died. Okay, so, I mean... <laughs> it seems like just attacking is better than... Turning. <laughs> using turn on that. <laughs> I think we may as well just... I gotta get her... I gotta get her out of this hellhole. I gotta... <laughs> I gotta have her give up the, um... The cheetah boots. Can men square them? Because he will be a terrifying... Yeah. Fast boy? He'll be such a fast boy. He'll be so scary. And then she can get the electrical resistance. Because, yeah, like, a hasted berserker, like, or my hasted. I like this guy. Like, I didn't let him join my party, but he's just running around. All oh, right, there's that lightning ball trap. I remember that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this would be a good time for... Her. Fireball. It's like, why can't I just use my thing? You know what I mean? Like, it's like they gotta be like, we we're gonna get a great fireball here. Look at that. Yeah, okay. But like, I can't. But that's what turn undead should have done. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> what, what, what about my turn? What, why is it always fireball's turn? <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, Nick, let's go. He makes these weird songs, and he's very. His most famous song is a theme he wrote, not requested. For Spirit Halloween, the the like costume store, and it's very funny. And then they like made him the official theme, because that's what he said. Uh, and he's done like three or four of them of just the Spirit Halloween themes, and he's done even more that are just like Halloween is like his. What do you call it? Like his Super Bowl? Yeah, I thought Halloween is a Super Bowl. He just, he just makes tons of Halloween songs, and they're all they're really funny. He's really great. But the theme for Spirit Halloween is kind of inspired because it's it's just like weird. Hey, if you like get me out of this hellhole, you Yeah, you might like this. me. That's true. This is the spirit of this is the theme to theme. Spirit Halloween, yeah. This is the theme to Spirit Halloween. <laughs> get me Grandma wet. <laughs> Grandma wet and can't stop screaming. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'm really confused at like what the point of this is, and I think exploring is not actually getting me anywhere, so oh, let's just try and find prison. I know, but like why are all these people like accusing me of fucking lightning bolt traps? Yeah, get rid of the trap. Emo in. Can you just detect traps by default, please? Oh fuck. Oh. Elminster! Okay, this is the guy. This is the guy. Remember we were talking this guy shows up all the time and he's like, I know I know you. I know your here future. Too? Why is he here too? He's everywhere, man. Because he's the bad guy. He's the big bad? His is name he, backwards doesn't spell beat? anything. Yeah, he was like there in the very beginning. Okay, so you have to do a candle beat. He's not from Candlekeep. He's, he's like not? he's a different guy. Oh, okay. He's like a he's like an imposter. Oh, okay. So who where's he from? Kill Grace, stop this madness, child. I beg of thee. Thou hast soaked these halls with blood of innocence, and I cannot permit it to go further. Um. <laughs> Reveal your true nature, doppelganger. You're no more Elminster than I am, Driss the Drow. Yeah. And Driss the Child, and Driss thou art not, thank goodness. As for this old ragtag physique, thinkest thou I would let anyone duplicate without express permission? I have it copyrighted. Thou must know. Come, poor soul, let us leave this darkness behind and struggle towards the light. The three of us shall guide thee. Um. Yeah, dude. What is? <laughs> he's from Cattlekeep. <laughs> he's not from Cattlekeep. He's from Cattlekeep. <laughs> Let's just like go for it, man. I don't trust this guy. 
Wipe such words of light from your spittle teeth, creature of darkness. I shall kill you in all your treacherous forms. Yeah, this! Then fleshling, go mad if you will and feel the rasp of our claws against your mind. Fireball. I do wish. I wish more than your ear. Yet. Not big bad yet. The problem with fireball is you kind of gotta like tell everybody to just back off for a second. Nice. Yeah, one of them. What will be? Um, please don't confuse. As long as he doesn't confuse us, I don't care what he does. He hastes it. Okay. Confuse and poison. They're the only strong pulls on easy mode. Oh, he's hasted though. Look at him, look at him wrecking Khalid. Jeez. Get out of there, Khalid. We need more power. Yes. Do you have second wind or something? Alright, oh, we're alright. We did it. Very good. Get pwned, Elminster. Was that actual Elminster? No. Was no. Doppelganger. doppelganger. So he probably would have been doing the candle keep accent. But listen. Like, sometimes you gotta give practice a break. You know, you have practice and then you, and then you take a break What's from practice. You know what I mean? No. I never take breaks. It's true, you don't. Hardest working person I know. What's up, Winthrop? Ah. Uh, okay. Get out of there. What if he just stayed in his room since we left? <laughs> Yo, is he though? That's pretty awesome. Oh, okay, I guess. Okay. I think maybe this is like a special hell design for me. Because it's all my like childhood friends and fam. Like, ah. doppelganging out on me. I don't know. Bale. Like Christian Bale? Like Christian Bale. I think that's what they named it after. God of death, Christian Bale. Ah, oh boy. More doppels. <laughs> I was trying to figure out... Yeah. More doppels, less brothels. That doesn't work. No. Um, more doppels, more bopples. You must gather your party before Not very good. Oh my god. Get, I love that this guy is leading us. It's awesome. Get me out of this hell hole. Oh, rat. Who are you? I've been expecting Saravok, not some ragtag band. Uh, let's lie to him. We're other members of Saravok's band. We are sent here to help you. Try to lie me, are you? You're that Kelly Gray, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm kind of succeeding. There's no way you're getting by me or my boys. Don't think Saravok would take too kindly if you should have messed up his plans in Boulder Gate. Come on, boys. Let's make sure work of them. All right. Kablam. Come on, boys. Okay. Okay. Fuck. We're actually... This could be bad. There's so many of There's a lot of boys. There's a lot of his boys. Let's summon a skeleton. Um, and that's horror. And Mansky you should stab. And I'm gonna do like... What does that do? Immune to petrification and gaze attacks. Oh, I just drink it, why not? Um, I think I can protect... Did I summon my skeletons? I think I'm gonna cancel my skeleton summon. Is Mint's gonna die? Yeah, he's all stunned up and shit. Hey, let's go, dude! Look at that. So strong. No, that's, um... Fear, basically. It's called horror. And he can just fear everybody in the room. Man, he did not get hit by either of the spells they just threw out. <laughs> oh, I guess it was just another confused spell, so... Um, do I have any healing? Because, like, men need some mega heals. Let's use, uh, medium. Nice job, Emo. Emo Barimo. any freaking traps, but... But at least... No, oh, that wasn't Emo one. That was... Oh, no, it was. Yeah, she can shoot some arrows, man. Stop hitting Minsk, guys. He's very low HP. I know you're confused. 
But like, let the man be. Um, aid, please. Confusion is the only. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, what do you have, Dina? Here, magic missile. Let's just do it, right? Um, is she also rooted? Like, why won't she spell? Can't attack. Oh, is he? He's invisible or sanctuary. Um, can I? Nope. Can I detect evil? Will that reveal him? Jeez, oh man, we're getting wrecked. Straight up. Um, can she like just melee him? Cause he's near death. Somehow we're not, like, we haven't lost yet, which is kind of neat. Um, just, just go hit him with your club, here. He's near death. We got him. We got him. We did it. Minsk has 3 HP. I need to just heal him some more. But I don't have anything else to heal him with, so I guess let's just, like, do our best. Hope nobody hits him. <laughs> yeah, he's just running. <laughs> He does, he's got the speedy- oh wait, look at that! Go get him! Oh, never mind, maybe not, because you're actually low, like, very low. He's about- oh. Right. Oh, that's my party, that's Kellogg. <laughs> this guy. That's Kellogg? No, not. That's Kellogg over there, yeah. <laughs> Man, hit him. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. No, that's our that's our ally. I think there is one more guy running around here somewhere. Maybe I'll find him on accident. Okay, that was interesting. That was a uh, I can be of service. I'll do it. Kind of a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we're going to go out on that fight cuz I got to change my whole inventory out to get these spells. What? <laughs> I got this guy had a lot of scrolls on him, and I'm gonna want to pick him up. Need to get sleep? Let me do, um, a level up. Level up. Here you go. Um, dagger. She needs a melee weapon. Let's go dagger. Done. Done and done. Okay. The question is, can we rest? Oh, she probably got some new spells too. Or more spell slots, dude. Uh, dispel magic. Nice. No level four yet. Oh, but when we get to level five, okay. If I can be of service, I'll do it. Let's try. Let's try a quick rest. Well, yeah, let's just do it. But I I rested for one day. If I can be of service. Wow. Because really? no, what you do is you rest until you fully heal. So like, because full rest used to be. You would just use your hit die. Just, just get him. Was it's that one guy. Just hanging yeah, he was for the entire time. <laughs> he was like, maybe they won't find me. <laughs> for an entire day. Just don't get poisoned, please. Oh, she has her spells reset. Man, this guy's pretty tough. He's pretty tough, man. Eh. Uh, I don't feel like wasting any spells on two creatures. Okay. Okay. We defeated the boys. Which is as it should be. We found out we're, we're the child of Bale. Of Christian Bale. Mm -hmm. Which is truly my dream to find that out. Um, and and we found out that maybe everybody was kung fu fighting, but also um, doppelgangers. Mm-hmm. And... And Candlespeak. And we found out that Candlespeak exists. It's been, it's been an eventful day. It has been very eventful. Okay, so... Saravox um, trying to become a Grand Duke mm -hmm. of Boulder's Gate. You also found out that, um... Um, Go Ryan has been getting it on with your, your with my mom. Your mom. Yeah, which I guess is like he's like your dad, so like fine, I guess, sort of. But it's also like I don't know, man. I could have gone without that. 
Like, why you gotta be weird in your letter to me? In your post-mortem letter to me? <laughs> why? Is that important information? Did she learn any of this? Now she has, like, infinite... You, in in Baldur's Gate 2, you get a scroll case, like, pretty quickly, mm-hmm. where you can buy them. I have not seen them in this game, so maybe they maybe they were an addition. This is an antidote, which is technically quite valuable. Um, okay, but I wanted to... <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, this is just a uh, copy note. Okay, goodbye. I don't care about anything! <laughs> Okay. Think. What? I like. I really like that that yeah, exasperated voice there. line because it really reflects my feeling a lot of the time. Okay, we're gonna call it right there. Thanks so much for listening slash watching slash engaging. Hey, yeah, y'all are y'all are freaking awesome. I, Faye, I look forward to looking at your image in the Discord. And the recipe. Yeah, and the recipe for sure. And Lula, I hope you're having a good time with um, Icewind Dale slash work. <laughs> and uh, everybody else who tuned in. Your home. E- dude, Ethan and Zan and with their Zan. freaking oh home ownership. Are you guys like not millennials or something? Like what's going on? <laughs> um, and anything else? that uh, Check out Venture Fourth. It's out now. Episode 90. Nine which of course zero. means harken back. Coming at you next week. Arcanus is over here fighting. <laughs> and uh, we're going. We're done. We're done. Thank you. Take your time, Faye. We are not. We will not have time to make it for 100 years. Um. Yeah. We will sleep for a millennia. I am nervous. I did Maybe save it. Right. That's spoopy. Maybe Good. you'll have a shiny boy next time. Hopefully, but if not, I'll be around. That's right. If not, you get <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> a poor man. I love that. Yeah, I love that. Rebecca's like the downgrade for some reason. Like, <laughs> okay. Um. Night, nerds. Yeah. See you later, nerds. Thank you.